Check out our friends at Iron Wolf Ranch and Distillery in the beautiful hill country just down the road in Spicewood. Go there for cocktails, live music, and fun times. Plus, grab a bottle to go. They're family and dog friendly with 15 acres of games and hill country views, award-winning craft spirits. They have it all. Bring your pack. It's a really cool vibe. There's something for everyone. Ask for Iron Wolf at local bars and restaurants. Check them out online and social media. Iron Wolf Ranch and Distillery. Bold spirits. Texas attitude. You're listening to Cobra Cast. The Cobra injects deadly venom through its fangs like ta toxins through a pair of hypodermics. This is the Cobra Cast, and here's your host, Bobby Sharon. Oh, there we are. Here it comes. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? <laughs> He's like, <laughs> feeling it now, Mr. Crab. I can't I, feel it now, Mr. Crab. They're like, I will be feeling some stuff here in a little bit after this bourbon kicks in. Yeah, right. Anyways, <laughs> please. Welcome to episode number 498 of the Cobra Cast podcast. With my special guest, Mars God, is in the house tonight. Yes, sir. Thank Luke is in the house. You. Matt is in the house. Ray's in the house. In the house, Maine. And in I'm the in the house. house. In my own house. In your house. <laughs> We're in a house. How Thanks you guys doing, us, man? man? Great, man. Great. Awesome. I got to make the I got to make the announcement again, man. We got some bad weather coming in tonight. Supposedly, they were talking about thunderstorms and hail and tornadoes and hurricanes and Jeez. good old texas weather fucking monkeys flying around i don't know whatever else going on mm-hmm. but so if anyways if, if the power goes out which it didn't on the last one thank god uh you'll know where we went so anyways <laughs> i'm just putting that out there right now right on. and thanks for coming all this way because you guys came from spicewood right yeah, all the way man. from spicewood do you yep. all live in spicewood they do okay i live in b cave Okay, well, this is pretty close, right? Yeah, he's like right yeah, down the road. 15 minutes closer to you. But I, I grew up out there. Yeah, I was just there. I was over at uh, Iron Wolf on s- last Saturday. No, what, was it Sunday or Saturday? No, it was Sunday. Went up there, did some bottling and stuff, and visited the fam up there and everything. Very, very cool. Love yeah. that joint. We're about five minutes away from there. There you go. You need so to go up there up. and check it out. Yeah. yeah we you do. ever been over there we yet? Or? I have. I've been over there. Uh, we rode some bikes and stopped uh-huh. by over there. Um, I have to stop by soon. We're doing some some work for them. So. Oh, cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, they're building that place up hardcore. Yeah, the, the spot looks great right now. Yeah, they're really, I mean, they put up the new building, and they got a, this big monster amphitheater stage out mm-hmm. there and everything, and, man, they're just man. crushing it. Yeah. Maybe we should play there, right by the house. Do you think uh, we're palatable enough? We, we, we'll make it palatable. <laughs> we'll make it palatable. Family friendly. Family friendly. <laughs> we can all, send them the soft stuff. It's all about the kids, yeah, just right, like right, this right. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so how long you guys been around for? Oh, man. We're coming up on a year and a month. Really? We're mm. super fresh. Babies. That's good. Yeah, because it was funny because um, you're like the only band. I'm not dissing you guys. You're the only band. I couldn't really find much social media on. So I was talking oh. to Clint from Trace's Left. I said, man, I can't get a hold of these guys. I'm trying to. I want to get them on because I saw you guys over at Kick Butt, right. you know, about a month ago. Mm-hmm. And... Um, and I told Clint that night, Clint goes, yeah, he goes, I was talking to these guys, you're my favorite band now. And I said, yeah, I need to get them on, we kind of cool, you know. And so I was talking to him the next day, and he gave me, I think it was your info, I think. Yeah. I'm not sure. So. Yeah, yeah Clint's, and, Clint's our boy. Clint's your boy? Hey, yeah, yeah shout, out. shout out. Clint, 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 Clint Melody, Clint. Trace Left. You guys are Oh, they'll be awesome. watching tonight, all of them. Good. Unless <laughs> they got something else going on, but they usually watch all the time. So. Right on. I know Chris, Chris always watches, and Clint watches when, uh, you know. He's not a Best Buy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Best Buy. Apparently he's doing really well over there. <laughs> yeah, he owns that joint now, I think. He uh-huh. owns up it was a BKs he works at? Um, I I think so. Yeah, but he's so. talking, you know, he's won all sorts of awards and sending him on trips. I mean, this dude right, is just yeah. crushing it over there. Yeah, yeah he tells us about it on Friday nights at uh at Woody's, <laughs> the local watering hole. Oh, he's local over at Woody's. Yeah, yeah, that's our spot. He's there all the time. <laughs> that's where we met, actually. Oh, really? Actually, yeah, we were yeah. playing pool one day. 
none of I'm this just... would have happened if it, if it wasn't for him. Really? Yeah, because so, yeah, we were just hanging out. And uh, yeah, we were, I was playing pool. We were all playing pool. And, and somehow, I forget how it happened, but we started talking. He came into the bar and he was all, you know, having a good time. And he was like, I'm in this band. We're like, we're in a band. And then we exchanged our music that like. He said you guys were listening to each other's cars or something. Yeah, we yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. actually went into the parking lot and yeah. got in his Toyota and sat there and listened to music back and forth. So that was, that was a pretty fun moment to share with him, seeing mm-hmm. him get all hyped up and stuff. Yeah, he, man, gets, was, he gets real hyped up. Yeah, he gets crazy. <laughs> it's, it's weird out in that area, too, because it's just non-existent. Like in B-Cave, it's all, it's like upper upper class, upper middle class people. Yeah, yeah. And that, like the that kind of music is just like not out there. It's mostly like cover bands and stuff. There's no, nothing wrong with that. Right, but right, right. It's just right. rare to find that, you know. Especially in the little, yeah. I don't think there's any kind of here. original clubs out there, is there? No, man. It's all uh, it's all a bunch of party clubs and you know, yeah, that kind of stuff. There's good old pooties right by the house, and they yeah, they do good. a lot of original stuff, mm-hmm. but it's mainly just you Country know music. pickers. Yeah, because I, I know that Trace has left. Too. Trace Blues, has left yeah. played over there one time, and and then I was talking to Clint. He's like, yeah, they didn't want us back. No, no, I was talking to uh, Chris, and Chris was saying, he goes, yeah, we played one gig out there, and. uh they didn't ask us back, and I don't think we're going to be playing there again. I said, dude, that place is not your style. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah you got to play old, you know, 90s tunes. Not even 90s tunes. It's, it's more of a country kind of. Well, yeah, 90s country tune. Country kind of, you know. Blues. They play. I've seen a lot of blues there, man. They yeah, have the same so much blues. five bands play there. Yeah. Do they really? Every week, yeah. Yeah. And there's some serious pickers out there. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. There's some great musicians Absolutely. out there. Yeah. I think. I know Matt and Radar plays there all the time. Yes, there I've one. seen them there. Yeah, yeah. Um, but William yeah. Clark Jr. Oh, he, he was there. Oh. I saw him. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. That was huh. cool. That's crazy. Lucas Nelson stops by every once in a while in there. Well, yeah, I would kind of think that would happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, wasn't wasn't Pootie like Willie Nelson's tour manager or bus driver or something? He like was that? involved somehow. I forget. Yeah, how, but. I think he was a bus driver. I hate to say it like that, but I, I think you're correct. So. I, I've heard like six different things. Yeah, there. and I grew up right down the lore. street from him. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's, but I've heard like so many different things. Like my dad used to tell me that he, he would, or that uh, not my dad. I'm so sorry. My mom would tell me that friends of friends would get you know buy pot from him and stuff like that. Mm. And like you know, I, I never got a, a complete straight answer. Right. On lots of know, lore. Yeah. Um, yeah. Plus, he passed away a long time ago, right? Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. I guess. Like, like he's like a mystical so. creature, <laughs> right? Yeah, he's now like a unicorn. Yeah, yeah. still you a big statue him, of him not. inside of pooties. Yeah, it's actually <laughs> kind of creepy. It is it's creepy. Like, it's a big. There aren't eyes. Chainsaw There's carved no eyes. statue. I didn't see the yeah. statue. I've been there a couple, two, three times. I haven't been there much, but um, every time I go there, I think I need to look for the statue next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's by the. It's like it's if you're looking at the stage. stage from the bar to the right, right before you walk outside. Oh, really? Like a looks like a chainsaw carved statue. <laughs> it is a little eerie. A little eerie. Yeah. That's not nice. spoopy. So I don't know who. Spoopy. So I don't know who owns the joint now. But all I know is Trace's left play there one time, and I guess that was their last time. I don't know. Yeah, I would. I no, like none of like no offense, but I, I I couldn't see people liking that out there. There, there's just it's no a way. whole different atmosphere out there. Even yeah. you go to Iron Wolf, it's like there's a certain kind of clientele that they cater to. You know. And I know yeah. so many bands are like they're hard rock and metal bands. Oh yeah, we want to play on Iron Wolf. We love you know everybody loves the stuff you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're out there buying it you know because they drink it on the podcast. They get all they fall in love with. It, and they're out to the liquor stores buying it, and they want to play out there. I'm like, man, you know, speed metal's not going to work out there. You know <laughs> oh, what I mean? No, you know dude. what I mean. It's a whole yeah. different kind of a thing. No. Kids might like it. <laughs> What's that? Their kids might like it. Yeah, the kids might like it, but man, <laughs> it's just all you know. So you know, you know, with this whole new thing out there you know i was talking to him about doing shows and we're gonna be kind of i say selective but put you gotta put you gotta put the it's with any club you gotta put the right bands in the right club you know what i mean absolutely right. and try to do it that way so not right. to say any band is better than any other band but you know right you gotta be go on, with what works brand. out there yeah but uh like so if if it wasn't for clint you know we wouldn't be doing this right. we're very grateful for that and like shout out to like a bunch of cool people josh Shriner, that dude's badass drum teacher. Yeah, it's you taught me a lot. You got anybody? Mom, dad, my, my mom, mom, dad, dad. mom, dad. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's like, mom, Ray's mom. <laughs> All mom. Everybody's mom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we love moms. Yeah, we do absolutely. like we moms do like good. moms. And Stephen Bishop. You know, we for, do like you know. moms. Yeah, so he's. <laughs> <laughs> 
So he's got that big like weekend thing, a Sunday and a Monday he's doing out there, right? Uh, yes. I'm going to head out there on Sunday. I can't go one day. I got a podcast on Monday night, so I can't do that. Yeah, we, we go, I think, downbeat going... 6 o'clock. Yeah. yeah. That's a tough day, man, to do a Monday. Hey, man, we'll take it. Hey, yeah. We'll take anything, man. Yeah. I love, we love, you know, Kick Butts sound. Oh, Kick Butts great. They're I love awesome. that place. Yeah, yeah. they're great. You know, the, the, I always rave about their food all the time. I've never, if you've ever eaten there before. Never had their food. Man, their or food their is, you know, for like, it's, I'm not, I won't even consider. Or their butt. Mm. I haven't had that either. I won't even consider it bar food, you know. It's like, really? it's seriously, it's on a different level. And they, they made me the sandwich. I had to MC a, a thing there one night and uh, I ordered a sandwich, man. It was like one of the most delicious bar sandwiches, if you want to call it a bar sandwich, I've ever had in my life. What was it? Do you remember? It was like some it's kind of dirty to me. Uh, it was like like in some kind of biscotta bread or whatever. Oh, and it was yeah. like this fucking melted. It was like <sighs> a it was a warm sandwich. It was like it was like, it was like turkey. It had like, you know, lettuce and stuff. I did special sauce they put on it. I don't remember what it was called. But it was delicious. Next time you go, you know, I'll probably see you over there at some point. And uh, I got to get the menu and show it to you. It was delicious. I was on stage raving about the damn thing, you know. <laughs> so, man, forget forget the bands, man. You got to get one of these sandwiches this over here. Fucking sandwich guys. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah, but they got the whole Play thing. For sandwich coupons. Yeah, they got the whole thing down over there, man. I mean, of course, they stream all the shows and everything. And Dude, I was tripping. Yeah, was I was tripping. Yeah, like, surprised the Playing hell. and, yeah. like, seeing yourself. Yeah. And, like. And then it shows like a drum shot from up top, and you're like, "What the fuck?" And I was playing. Super I was like, cool. "Man, I look, I look kind of stiff right now. I need to loosen it up a little bit." <laughs> I didn't even know that was going on until after the show, and I saw the other bands. No and shit. Get, yeah, really? I had no idea. I'm glad because I would have been watching it the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Like, and I looked weird. It's crazy because we use the same like you know same programs and shit. So when mm. I'm there, I'm always kind of like looking at what he's doing and stuff. Oh, I can use that for my show, you know, kind yeah, of yeah. a thing, you know. But he's got multi cams and everything going on at, at one time. Yeah. And in here for me, it's like, I, mean, I can't, you know, I put up the one camera, I'm good because I don't, I'm not good with pushing buttons on, you know, on cameras and stuff. I got too much to do here as it is. Never mind be pushing camera buttons, you know? Right. You but do yeah. have a hell of a setup though. Thanks, yeah, man. I appreciate no, it. No, I dig it, man. It's like the USS Enterprise over yeah. here, you know? <laughs> Curved screen and everything. Yeah. Fancy it's so thing. funny because I, I had to replace the screen here recently and I got a bigger one. So when you watch the older ones. It comes up to here on my chest. Now it's like right here. It's, over <laughs> it's a little bit lower, but it's like it, when it came in, I'm like, oh, shit, this thing is way big, man. <laughs> I said, Damn. fuck it. I'm going to put it up anyways. Looks sick. Yeah. Nice, man. Yeah. Yeah, you always got to upgrade, man. Yeah, yeah. Equipment's, equipment. I always say, like, you know, technology and equipment is great when it works. Absolutely. When it don't work, man, forget about it. It's the gearhead motto. Yeah. Yeah, I'm running into a fucking in-ear issue right now. Really? Yeah, I just bought like an in-ear setup to try to, you know, take the issue out of, you know, other people's sound guys, you know? Yeah. And love sound guys, <clears throat> but it's, you know, you're not me. It's hard to, you know, right. gauge what I want and be like, I need more. And they're like, uh-huh. Yeah, I'm giving you more right now. <laughs> totally. So I did that and then st I'm still having a hard time getting it right, but I'll, I'll fucking dial it in. Yeah, I'm old school, man. I was always, you know... I'm Played drums back in the old days, and the thing for me, I just needed a wedge, and that was it. You know, all these people, even when I sit in with bands now every once in a while, it's like, "Hey, you better go, go my in ears. You want them like, nah? Give you got a wedge over here? Let's turn the wedge up. I'm good. You know, I don't <laughs> well, need in ears." Yeah, last gig we played, um, we set up, sound checked, and I was like, "Hey, can I get some more guitar and vocals and my wedge?" And he mm -hmm. goes. Oh, that wedge isn't even plugged in. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to hear shit. Yeah, you don't get what? to hear shit. And so yeah, he's like, all right, we'll just kind of turn Ray's amp towards me a little bit. A and then we ran stack. the whole gig like that. We're just laughing about it the whole fucking gig. It so why hilarious. did they have a wedge if it wasn't plugged in? I guess just for looks. Just, <laughs> just for looks. The look cool. guy was just a, a dude who plays music and happened to, happened to be there to help out yeah. and yeah. stuff. It wasn't. You did great. Yeah, because I was, was laughing yeah. about it the whole time. I was just like, this is kind of silly. Yeah, like, whatever. You were on it. You it's like you think it, you want to get the thing out of the way, have some more room. I mean, right? wedges are kind of yeah. kind of big. It, yeah, it was even like, that, it was it halfway in the kit, too. It, was, yeah, it like was right in front of the kick drum anyways. It's like yeah. a 12, maybe. No. Yeah. I don't know, man. The less gear, the better. But if you need it, you know, put it up there. Absolutely. So did you guys know all each other before you got this thing together? Or? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we were already living together for a little bit, and then I've known him since I was, you know, a little kid. So we've been running around and 
you know, causing problems, causing problems, <laughs> yeah. hurting, hurting ourselves, day, and it's all like, that shit. So one day you're like, "Hey, let's let's get a band together." There you go. Yeah. Well, the thing that yeah. we were all into, we're all into bikes, so we were all hanging out at the house, wrenching on Harleys all day. Oh, and, nice. Uh, hurting ourselves and breaking collarbones and good god, man, folding up bikes on the street, stupid shit, breaking our backs. I just broke my back, and he was in the same accident I was, and then oh my we we're all god. sitting around like. Hanging out all the time. We're like, all right, let's just, well, you want to go play some music? Yeah, let's play some music here and there. And then we're like, we should start a band. Let's do it. You broke your back? Yeah. Did you mm-hmm. both of you broke your back? He got really close to. Yeah, I have, uh, I have, like slipped some discs. Uh, oh my God. Slightly, but he actually like, fra- <laughs> he, <laughs> yeah. like fractured his, like one of his vertebrae. So how, how, so how long were you out of the picture for? I was, I was we, were, we were still going. Going, going, going. The whole you time. can do this, that. Did you know that? Because I didn't no. know that. This is before we back. started the band. This yeah, this is before, right. This is before. Right. Yeah, but even before. still, though, he was still. He was yeah, still working was, and stuff. I'm still working. Oh my god, running yeah, around. Man. I know people have like broken their necks and stuff. You know, and of course, that's yeah. a whole different animal right there. But back, I don't know. I wouldn't. As soon as you touch your spinal cord, you're you're a little bit, a little bit fucked. Yeah, that's but. the thing. Yeah, anything to do with the spinal cord, man. It's you know, you hit the right spot, it's lights out. You're in a wheelchair the rest of your life. You know. Yeah, I. I guess I bounce back kind of fast, but now I feel like I'm 80. Sometimes. Feel like you're 80 now? Yeah, every once in a while. There you go. But God, man. That'll creep up with you, too. In yeah. Your, in your later years, you know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, easy now. <laughs> it's really weird, man, because at the age I am, and, you know, I've never broken a bone. I've stubbed a lot of toes and stuff like that, but I've never, <laughs> I've never, you know, never broken a bone yet. So and it, yeah. I know eventually it's probably going to happen. One of the crazy shit as I did as a kid with BMX bikes and, and skateboards and all that kind of shit, I'm just surprised nothing has been busted in me. Hell yeah, building ramps out of plywood and cool. Oh yeah, we used to jump garbage cans <laughs> and all yeah. sorts of crazy <laughs> shit, man. We just like send everything that we yeah. do and like don't think too hard about it. Yeah, and then fuck ourselves up pretty. Man, bad. I wish we had. We get in trouble. I, I wish I had social media back when I was a kid and like you know cell phones with cameras on them and shit. Yeah. Um, because I'll tell you what, man, I'd be vi- we would have been viral. The shit that we oh, yeah. do. We just <laughs> we, we're still just too stuff. lazy to pull out our phones and actually video it. That's good though. Yeah, you don't. Yeah. I'm kind of getting to the point now where I go out, it's in my back pocket. You know, I use it for emergencies or I'll text, hey, you, what time are you going to be here kind of shit, you know, and put it away. Yeah. I'm not all about, uh, you know, fucking selfies, this, selfies, that. You know, I might take a, a video of a band or something. I think right. I got a video of you guys. Oh, nice. Um, we made but, it. We made it on his <laughs> phone. Yeah, he pulled his phone out for us. He made it. Yeah. yeah. It, was cr- it was funny that. Bobby <laughs> took his phone out for us. Bobby <laughs> <Yeah>. shit. <laughs> Woo! Thanks, Bobby. There you go. All right. <laughs> God love you. I got, I got some pictures of you guys, yeah. Right on. He has pictures of us. Pictures, yeah. I was fucking, I was fucking f bombing <laughs> everywhere. Don't worry about it. It's all right. It's it. a bar. We have, dude. We have a song. I'm allowed to cuss, right? I just, yeah, yeah. Hundred uh, okay. oh, yeah. percent. Okay. Cool. About MSK. So, <clears throat> yes, we have this song called <laughs> MSK, and it stands for Matt's Spit Kink. But it's like a multi spit kink. Yeah, yeah. spit kink. Yeah, oh, okay. Not like you spit. Know. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really okay. like, you know, you know who doesn't like spit? You know. Yeah, and <laughs> it's also <laughs> about. It's also about. <laughs> and <laughs> it's also about uh, like sleep fucking. So like fucking your sleep, but you're That's not. You're thing. not. You're not like aware you're doing it. You're okay. asleep. I have this thing. Apparently, shout out. You know what's up? Shout out so, you. Know what's up? Yeah. So you know you is. We wrote this song, and the in the the whole song basically explains oh. like. The situation of sleep fucking and the chorus line is I'm coming inside you, but like slowly. <laughs> oh, hey now. It's a beautiful tune. It's crazy. It's, 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 uh, it, you pretty. wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even know. You're like, oh yeah. But dude, it was gnarly. I felt really weird saying it there. And I was like, man, it is what it is. Like, yeah. Well, then you told Clint you were going to come inside of him. I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He turned, and he right, turned around. around. He, was he like, turned around right here. Like, <laughs> That's yeah. the best part about the gig is being able to call somebody out before we play that. Ray, Ray gets to say, I'm coming inside of you. Is that a. It's usually a dude. Is that yeah. a crowd favorite when you guys do that? It's been. It's got great response. There you go. Hey, On both both ends of the spectrum. We wrote it as a joke, but we were like, let's make this really palatable. Yeah. And then just hit him with a, I'm coming inside of you. Nice. As a chorus. Mm, not beautiful. It, it works. It's harsh. I know. <laughs> so harsh. <laughs> we had the in- instrumental first. I've heard a lot worse. Trust me. <laughs> you guys are pretty tame with that one. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. What are you saying now? I'm sorry. I didn't mean, oh, we I didn't had mean the instrumental interrupt. at first and then kind of 
let it evolve. We had it for a long time. Yeah, we let our um, creative intuition <laughs> take over and ended up with a cum joke. Boners. <laughs> 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 yeah, dude, we're like we're like four year olds, man. When it comes to the, these songs, and but you know, you got to have a good time with with what you're doing. I mean, it breaks up the monotony and stuff. And you played the songs a gazillion times, and you're just like, you know, don't they're having fun. I mean, if, if you're not having fun playing live, what's the point of doing it? You know what I mean? Right, Absolutely. Right. It's the same thing with this. If I don't have exactly. fun podcasting and, and talking to bands and musicians and shit, it's like I'm not, I'm gonna stop. You know, because the, the last thing you want to do is come on here and be fake about it. You know? Yeah, yeah exactly, so. man. Well, That's we, the way I look at it. We gave it up. We gave you just gave it to you. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's. Am I next thing. on the list or what? Is that? Yeah, I think that's. I think that's. Yeah, we'll shout you out next. Yeah, time. yeah, yeah. Next show, we'll be like. This next show. This one's, this one's for Bobby over there. Yeah, yeah. We're, We're coming your eyes. We're coming inside <laughs> of Bobby tonight. <laughs> nice. Love it. I feel so special. <laughs> that's right, man. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be there. You will. Yeah, so you guys kind of formed after the pandemic then pretty much, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Lucky you. Well, yeah, I was in a, a band pre-pandemic. How were you? And then another band, like, right when it started, and it just ruined everything. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the same old story over and over. And yeah, over it's, and I over hear, yeah, we talk about, it's like pretty much every episode that, you know, the whole, you know, COVID thing comes up and everything. So yeah, it's whack, man. But yeah. hey, we're here now, and uh, our genre of music is what people are digging across the board. Yeah. According to the TikTok. Yeah. The Tink Tonks. Are you guys on TikTok? Um, we are. We're not very good about it. Yeah. Me either. I have we an try. account. We're so bad. We all, we're always talking about, hey, we should film a TikTok video. It's like, because <laughs> <laughs> everybody's on TikTok right now. Well, my thing with TikTok is this. All I keep hearing about, it's it's a Chinese company. Mm-hmm. And the dang, U- dang China. <laughs> <laughs> and, no, but but yes, the thing, sir. Mm-hmm. the thing about it is the U.S. government is trying to shut it down or shut down it being in the United States, right? You know, so my thing is like if you know I'm not gonna put a bunch of time into it, an app and and making a bunch of videos and building it, building it just to have it be swept out, you know, in another six months or so. I feel that. Yeah. yeah. And I know so many people are on it and they're like, man, you're like, man, forget about Facebook and Instagram, man. I got more followers on this thing in a lot less amount of time and yada, yada. Yeah. And I'm almost like, you know, man, I'm on everything pretty much as it is for this thing. And it's like, I mean, how much I don't have much more time, you know, my schedule to be making videos and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. It takes like a certain amount of like. I don't know. At least for me, for us, like a certain amount of like detachment. I hate like that thing of like being like, okay, time to make a fucking yeah, TikTok, yeah, yeah. play the game, and it's like <laughs> time people, to be funny. There's people yeah, that live right for now. that Practice shit. Practice a though. TikTok dance for 45 minutes. It just feels that's how it started, right? Yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah, like it was thing like a, everybody just doing like choreographed fucking dances and shit. <laughs> You're like the little sisters. <laughs> yeah, my sisters are doing it. We're me and him were sitting there like eating dinner at my parents' house, like. What the hell are you guys doing? And they're sitting in the corner, like fucking <laughs> just doing shit. They're like it's called TikTok. Yeah, dude. It's, it's no TikTok. shame. No, no shame. Cool. It's cool. They'll do it. I swear. They'll do it everywhere, dude. What's creepy is when they do like a uh, they do one like type of video. I don't know if it's like a, a platform for a video or whatever they call it. But it the sound plays slowly. Oh, yeah. The song plays slowly, and then they dance slowly to it, and then it plays back in real time, like up to speed. And then so they look, they look kind of like animatronic, sped up. But while they're doing it, it's fucking hilarious to watch. Good God, man. It's like I slow motion music, and they're like, I didn't know that's how they did that. Yeah, dude. No, it's fucking, creepy. Yeah, it's so, so creepy. creepy. And then you see people doing it in public. It's like influencers in the wild kind of thing. Yeah, that's that's the whole thing, man. It's, it's, it's funny because people, they live on there. And I know people that, you know, personally, they'll put like probably five, six, seven, eight videos a day on there. Yeah. You know, they're building these channels, and it's like... Damn. It works. People, it, I mean, it it's works, one of those things dude, you can get it while right. it's hot. It's there. Yeah, Everybody's yeah. on it right now. If you if you can use it, then use it. Yeah. I mean, it's just the next the next platform that's yeah. popping. So it's just it's just getting out of control. I mean, with all this stuff, it's like you know I've, I've been on Facebook forever in ten days. <clears throat> I think that's where everybody circles back to. You know, for, for what I'm seeing, I mean, Instagram's sort of the same thing too. Right. Yeah, we're we're alive and well on Instagram. Yeah, no, I know. We don't I, really Facebook very. Much. I use Facebook for uh, buying irresponsible motorcycles and trucks. Yes, <laughs> I second that. As for these boys, I 
That's the marketplace is where we're at. If we're on Facebook, the find us in the market. Check us out. There you go. Oh, have stuff for sale. And you Austin brought- musicians wanted too. I mean that that's a good thing. True. And then Austin Rock, all those like finding people, yeah, like, picking up shows, picking up sound guys. Farmers only page. Uh, uh, farmers only. That's yeah, a dating I have an old post on page three. Oh eight trucker chicks with dicks. Trucker chicks with dicks. Yeah, nice. That's a good one. That's a good that's one. A, mm. That's a good mm. one. That's a family favorite. Yeah. Haven't been on there. Lotlizard.com. That's mm. right, man. Lot really, lizards with thick gizzards. It was really funny. It, it was really funny. Uh, I was talking to someone. I was talking to someone. That's a fresh they, I just came up with that. I, no shit. I was, talking, <laughs> I was talking to someone about, I don't know, it was man, six, eight months ago about lot lizards, and they didn't know what a lot lizard was. I tried to explain yeah. to them what it was. and they. Who was who was telling me about a lot lizard? Was it? I don't know. Somebody was telling me, a close friend was telling me about a story where he was sitting there at a gas station, saw one jump out of a truck. Squat over the dirt, <laughs> grabbed a handful of dirt, wearing a skirt, threw it on herself, like and then cat? stood up and walked away. Wow! Really Whoa! Crazy. Yeah, straight out the truck, drying it off. That's wow. a kitty, kitty that's, litter. That's a woman, right? Call there, that yeah. guy if you remember. Just call him. I think it was Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> I think Cooper told me this. Cooper Sykes. Yeah. Shout, Cooper out Sykes. Cooper Sykes. Shout, shout out Cooper Sykes. Shout out Cooper Sykes. He's getting yeah. married pretty soon. Congratulations, buddy. Mm-hmm. No that's more right. lot lizards for him. No more lot lizards for <laughs> you. <Cooper. laughs> no more. I know. I know. It was a POV. She jumped out of your truck. There's a there's a documentary about that. <laughs> yeah. There's yeah. a lot lizard documentary. Yeah. Go look it up. Get the fuck what? out of here. Go look at it. I think it's on Amazon oh, yeah. Prime. I will pay for it right now. No, it's for, I think it's I think it's on Prime. Really? Yeah. So if you have Amazon yes. Prime, go look. It's on one of those because I watched it. No, We've been looking for some inspiration. I think it's called Lizard. That's or, a, yeah. That's the lot next, lizard or something. Next song. Album number oh, yeah. two is going to be written about the lot lizards. There you go. Mm-hmm. Hey, lot lizards need love too. So. They do. They're people. They need money. Yeah, but they were mainly. Was, money. They need money and meth. I think yeah. they like they. The documentary was they kind of hung out with like I think two or three different girls, and they went through their daily lives and you know, oof, and all that. Yeah, it's a pretty hard life. It looked like you know. Uh-huh. So what are you gonna do? <laughs> shout out! Shout out to lot lizards. Yeah, y'all World, say, worldwide. Say <laughs> World, worldwide. Hold it down. Hold it worldwide. down for the worldwide. Uh, worldwide. 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 What world? They're the real. Boats and they're the Boats real reason our packages get here on time. Yeah, Duke. Who's gonna fuck the dudes that get all like the transport all they the shit? They gotta get their dick sucked they too. Gotta, yeah. yeah. Everybody's gotta know. They're like, I can't wait to see my woman in Austin. It's funny because they gets here. I wonder if I early. I wonder if some lot lizards over here because the am they just opened an Amazon fulfillment center right. Next they're getting some complex. kind of fulfillment over there. So, you, so there's what. probably some lot lizards over there hanging out in the parking lot. Probably. Waiting for those truckers to go out. I don't know. I Why are my packages sticky? <laughs> <laughs> They've talked so about you know how like one. strippers will follow golf teams and stuff and, and Do they like really? through America. Yeah, like I didn't the know PGA, that. they'll follow the PGA, stuff like that. Because like groupies, everybody almost. goes goes and parties so, after so and hits strip clubs. Oh. And so I wonder if lot lizards do the same thing. I don't know, if there's a hot trade route, I know? feel like that's like a no. Nah, that's like comparing like a pirate to like an attorney. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, they yeah, probably you know, just you know stay I mean? away from like Swift. You know. Yeah. I don't not know, not really. comparing they strippers to a lot of lizards at all. We love you. We love all of you. Hey, <laughs> shout out to the Red Rose, man. Hey, shout out to the Red that's Rose. Our home. Red that's Rose. our home. That's our home spot. Come find shout us. Shout out there at the Red Rose. Yeah. Now, hey, now where's the red now? Oh, so so there's still a yellow. South I know. I know the yellow. I used to live there. Right. So. The Years red, ago. the red is. Uh, oh man, what was the old club that used to be the red? Now, ex- 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 like ex- Expose. It was yellow, I think. Well, let no, me I, let me really? let me tell yeah, you yellow. let me tell you a story. When I first moved here in '91, this is probably way before you guys were even born. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't even <laughs> yeah, about six years. Yeah, you're six years old. I haven't thought of, thought about yet. Um, the original Red Rose was off of um, three sixty and Mopac. Um, on South Lamar, you know when 360 crosses um, 183 and it turns into South Lamar yeah, kind yeah, of a yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. It used when you so when you turned up to go up on South Lamar, it was down in the in the ditch. And there's a building mm. there and that was called that was the original Red Rose. Oh, okay. Way back in the day, I like the ditch. The then ditch there was the down. yellow um, sugars was one. Mm. It's, I don't think even sugars is around anymore. I think it's. Rick's Cabaret or some shit now, but then there was Joy up in Round Rock at the time. Austin, <laughs> um, I think it was Travis County could only have. I eight, think it was eight strippers per table. No, it was like five or six clubs they could have at one time. So mm-hmm. what happened is, in order for one to close, what for one to open, one had to close, kind of a thing. Right. Mm-hmm. So they only had six forever, and I don't know what they have now. I haven't been to those 
places in forever and ten days. Yeah, I but mean, jo- but then Joy turned into Rick's, and then you know, across the street is like the perfect ten, and they we got- don't go to any other ones. Yeah, at no. so so the don't red is your to home. Any other ones? Yeah, so go the to the red, is, red rose, dude. the red. Yeah. So the red, yeah. So anyways, the ba- food's great. But back the, in the, the old food is awesome. But back in the old days, like so you know, good. so cheap, um, cheap like wings, sh- like sugars. That was the creme de la creme. Though that had the best girls, you couldn't have tattoos or piercings or anything, right? The yellow was sort of that way. Um, there was one on thirty five. I think it was called the the lady, the enchanted lady, or something. Mm-hmm. You go in that place, it was you know uh, tattoos and piercings. Also, Wait, that's what we I, want. Yeah, I prefer. Yeah. I, prefer I prefer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And exactly. they let us wear Crocs and overalls in there. So and- I think that place is called Chico's Bonitas now. <laughs> Chica's Bonitas is gone, homie. <laughs> oh, is it? Gone, dog. Well, you know who used to own that, right? No. Vinny, Vinny Paul from Pantera owned that. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, what? He, he owned. No shit. He, him and, I think, I'm not sure if Dime was part of it, but yeah. Rest in peace, Dime and Vinny. Respect. Yeah. So yeah, Vin Vin owned that one. I'll take and, that. Um, I'm out. Hey, man, can I have another beer? Yeah, sure. Uh, Vin owned, he had a, it was a chain of them. So he bought, really? he bought the Enchanted Lady or the Lady or whatever it's called um, and turned it into Chica's Bonitas. He loved how you, you have him, you have the ingredients for a black tooth grin here. It's dime bags drink. Yes, it is. Ooh, I see a coke and I see whiskey. There you <laughs> go. We'll make one he's if a, you want. He's a simple man. <laughs> I'm a simple man. Yeah. So, anyways, that was the whole story on that. But uh, yeah, so I don't even know where the new red is. If if it's the new South, uh, South, South, Congress, Congress, South Congress, South Congress. No, but yeah. the okay. Here's so you know where the landing strip is, right? Mm-hmm. You're, you're, Way out by over that uh, used to be the red by the bridge. That was the oh, red rose that? for a, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like the new red rose for a little while. This is you're talking mm. twenty years ago, and now it's like the landing strip, I guess now. Yeah, because so. by the airport, real it's, it's, so there's a little strip club history for you, right? Yeah, nice with your Uncle Bobby. There you go. Nice, very <laughs> nice. nice. So I don't know. I really don't know what's going on now. So. I know what you want to say. I am not going to say it. Yeah, no, it's all good. <laughs> There's been a lot of dancers in my life, a lot of loved ones, a lot of loved ones. We write yeah. a lot of songs about girls from Red Rose. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, oh, they can't pay their bills. No, <laughs> no, they can't. No, no, they, they, they can pay our bills. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah I don't they know make about all way that. more money than we do. Yeah, oh, I, yeah hooked, I guess I hooked up with the wrong ones then, so I don't know. They make good Dude, money. These, be, these, these nice ladies make. <laughs> <laughs> they make all, they, they make good money. <laughs> Let's do these. Be- <laughs> hey, in order. In order to live in Austin, they have to make good money. <laughs> no shit. No, dude, they're, they're really. Oh my God. There's some really. There's some really cool ladies out there, man. Cool sure. ladies. Yeah. Respectable. Okay. Respectable. Cool oh, respectable ladies. ladies. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. That's right. They yeah, are, they are brought, the inspiration. I brought one to my parents' house for dinner one time. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> His parents are good people. My parents. Shout out my parents. They're good people. That's right. Shout out these parents. Yeah. They're they're understanding. <laughs> Very so much where so. did you meet your girlfriend? Uh, well, on stage. <laughs> <laughs> she was pulling a mule on stage and... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and Tijuana. Oh my Never God. seen anybody do that with a dollar, and I said, God damn it. You're I'm mine. Yeah. <laughs> you you're my, have you're my, my girl. Parents. Hey, let's play a tune. Yeah, yeah man. For sure. Absolutely. First off, let's go over this EP. So wh- this EP came out when in, like, um, the January this thing came out? I believe so. You believe so? It's about, it's about right. About right? Yeah, it wasn't that long ago, man. So uh, where'd you guys record it at? The we Roost. went to, yeah, we went to Roost Studio. Jimmy George. Yeah, shout, shout out, out Jimmy George. George. And, uh, Yo, Jimmy George. Jimmy yeah, George. man. You know Jimmy George? Uh, I I know people that know him very well. My buddy Nathan Oliveira. You know Stupid Drama? You've heard mm-hmm. of those guys? Big mm-hmm. Nate, 12-string Nate, acoustic? No, sir. Um, I like the names, He's though. playing. He, he'll be on um, Stephen Bishop's uh, bill on Sunday. Where? He's playing at okay. three. Acoustically, though. But he works at him all the time. Right on. Yeah, we yeah. love Jimmy. Good guy. Great producer, man. He's he's worked with a ton, a ton of people. Yeah, dude. He's uh, he's a good dude. Um, and then Miles Mangalos uh, was also there in the studio. Shout out to Miles. Shout out, Miles. And Shout out, Link. Wolf. Wolf Creek. Wolf Creek Guitars. Wolf Creek Guitars. I work for him now. Oh wow! Building guitars and repairing yeah. stuff. Nice, good for you. He's badass, awesome. badass great, luthier. Great guy, badass luthier. Great Anybody mixer. that great dude. loves uh, custom guitars, yeah. go check him out. There's yeah. a lot of them too. But yeah, yeah, but yeah, he. Uh, so yeah, we we went with Jimmy and uh, yeah, man. That was just like our. Uh, that was just like our first, you know, just our first throw. You're we like, God, we want to play, and we just needed something to give to people. Yeah. Know? But we wanted to do it well, and we ended up going through Jimmy, and we're, we're happy we did. 
Yeah, the thing sounds Absolutely. great. Thanks, man. So you want to pick a tune off of this to play? Or? Uh, y'all want to do Queens? Yeah. Or what do you yeah. want? I kind of want tracks. I kind of want tracks. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. It shows. Yeah. 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 Throw tracks. Yeah. They're all. Well, I love them all, man. Throw, yeah. yeah. Tracks. Yeah. Do tracks? Yeah. Anything about this song tracks. at all? Or? Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah. This actually has to do with the Red Rose. Oh boy. Slightly. Slightly. Yeah. But, so actually, shout out uh, Tuesday. Uh, Red, Red Rose. Tuesday. And uh, Tuesday. 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 Yeah, man. Tuesday. She is actually she we we recorded her voice on this song. Oh, okay. Right uh, in the breakdown, and it, it's it's a fictional story, but it's about a high school couple that's addicted to coke. And, oh, and the, wonderful! And the girl, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. and the the, Isn't the, that nice? the young lady in the relationship starts shooting up, and she ODs on the way to prom, and the guy takes her in. To, Such a happy you know, song, absolutely. Yeah, takes her into you know she's dead. He's oh, holding, he's holding Lord her in her prom dress in the in the main you know, dancing area mm. and we're playing on stage this song and she's dead and he's just oh. sad dancing with a dead body. But yeah, man, that's sad. Dancing valid. with a dead body. Damn. Yeah, man. You guys are going that's, deep on that's this. That's the uh, music video idea. Oh, there, there you go. Crap. That'll work. Yeah, and that's... Okay, here, people. Here it is, is tracks. Let's check this out.
There it is. So do you, do you resurrect her in the next song, or how does that work? No, <laughs> no she's, she's fucking just, dead. Yeah, she just dies. She, dead. she just yeah. dies. She's dead, and that's it? Just don't do drugs. Oh. Real don't life. do drugs. Yeah. Don't do drugs, people. Yeah, Not like that. Drugs are bad. Yeah. Drugs are bad. Yeah. <laughs> but do drugs sometimes. No, when, you that, that, music, <laughs> when you listen to our music. When you listen to our music. you listen to our music. You let's have, like some, let's have some Iron I'm Wolf not bourbon. It. it just depends on what it is. Yeah. Have some Iron Wolf bourbon yeah, when you drink. listen to their music. That is drink. Just drink. Just drink. Drink. Just drink. Legal, legal just drugs. drink Iron Wolf whiskey. You guys are young and you shit, need. man. You still got that. Legal that drugs. Iron Wolf spit whiskey. Spit vinegar in your veins. God, I can't stop smelling this. Isn't that delicious? Mm. The butter. butter <laughs> you know what? Butter there's, some, there's some people that love that candle and some people that hate it. They're what not am, from what, Texas if they hate that. One of my friends threatened what? to punch me in the throat if I lit it up. So What? what? Wow. <laughs> Where's he from? Communist Russia? Yeah, He's from dude. Canada? He's from here. No way. Yeah. Damn. Transplant. Does he hate happiness? <laughs> Does he hate ha- <laughs> <laughs> Does he hate butter you know, and tortillas? You know, you know what the crazy thing about that candle is? I bought the big one when I first bought it. You want to hit? <laughs> you want to hit? <laughs> Puff, puff, fast, baby. Fuck, yeah. This is the only drug that Mars got, go, guys. Is. <laughs> um, what do you call it? Uh, <sighs> they had it on the... We get, I got up early to go to work, and I watch the news in the morning when I come in. And they had... And one of the news stories was H-E, they're at H-E-B, and they're, they're smelling these new like Ooh-wee. candle lines that they had. They got blueberry Ooh. muffin, brownie bits, all oh, this yeah. kind of stuff. I got them all, you know? I spent about 30 minutes standing next to one of them one time. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So anyways, um, they had this butter tortilla thing. I said, so, man, I, just, I need to get one of those, right? <coughs> so I went over there, and I went and bought, like, the big one with the two wicks on it, and I lit in the house. Like, within, like, 10 minutes, the whole house smelled like butter tortilla. Hell My yeah. My chick came in. Fuck she's, like, yeah. going, what the fuck? Is this making me hungry. I'm going to die. Yeah. making me hungry. You know? Hell yeah, bro. Go me that way. Yo, Go shout out. Way. So anyways. Lupe Becerra, bro. So anyways, I just bought, I, I bought it for what? Lupe <laughs> Becerra. That's, that's my abuela, bro. Oh, hey now. My momo. She'd be my flipping My her. grandma. Your grandma? <laughs> okay. Anyway. Should have brought her with you. Sit oh, right dude, there in the corner. I love her. She's the best woman on the planet. There you go. I swear to God. But anyway, so I, 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 I burn it in here. And people either, like I said, either love it or they hate it. I mm. love it. You got all love here, I'm going to give me one of those. All love. Five bucks. Love, baby. Get like, the big one for 12. That's like a, a cheap candle, man. Yeah. Yo, I bought a candle for 10 and bucks. Look at, look at, about a candle. T- taking the aroma, man. That thing. Wake up in the morning, just butter. <laughs> get you it, all but cigarettes. But it smells just like, it just smells exactly like their butter, the homemade butter tortillas one that they do inside H-E-B. It smells mm-hmm. exactly like that. It smells Absolutely. like I was a little kid running around the kitchen. My mom was slinging butter tortillas to all of us. That there was, you go. That was lunch. Just like straight up, just like yeah. slinging it at you like a yeah, game. We come like in outside game. from slinging outside. We're all, like we're all dirty, dirty and greasy from outside. Mom's just like, here. Bah, bah, bah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the the <laughs> thing is, dude, <laughs> like if you'd ever do it for yourself, it sucks making one and then you eat the one. Dude. Then you're make you're, you're like, you're feeding the machine. Yeah, yeah. But when you somebody's doing it for you and they do it exactly. right. Exactly. Dude, and they put it in the thing. It keeps them hot. It's all man. in the yeah, When somebody makes you a butter tortilla. You know what the best thing about those tortillas is? If if you're into like into making chips and stuff, oh, you take yeah. like you get like one of those, those butter tortillas from H E B. You cut it in the fours or whatever, how many pieces? And you throw it in like the peanut oil and cook it. Mm-hmm. Make those and mm-hmm. those chips are the best, man. They're yeah. so good. You ever I put like chips. cinnamon and sugar on them and then oh, yeah, yeah. shallow fry them? Mm-hmm. Oh, they're yeah, yeah. sweet chips, dude. Ooh mm-hmm. wee. Ooh. But you gotta you Fucking gotta get the ooh. butter tort- Absolutely. You gotta get the butter tortilla uh, tortillas. From uh, H E B. Oh, we we've been there. We've been we've been on it. Oh, you've been on it already. Oh, yeah. I'm, oh, I'm yeah. speaking to the choir. Oh, yeah. I'm preaching to the choir, choir baby. Absolutely, man. Yeah, I'm a foodie, Love man. I love making things. shit like that. Did you know mm. that everything H E B is free oh, if you uh... your little your little muffin's <laughs> falling <laughs> yeah, off yeah. there? <laughs> Not my muffin. Your muffin's falling off the mic there. No, you can eat anything you want to there as long as uh, you finish it before you leave. Yeah. So, oh, okay. so that's the thing. My yeah. mom, my mom taught people don't talk about that a lot, but it is a thing. You can eat in there and. Yeah, yeah, as long as you, you eat it before you check out and you don't get caught. Oh, one of those. You, okay, I see what you're saying. Mm-hmm. You throw uh, it away. Thief. <laughs> uh, better yeah. than shoplifting. So my mom used to tell me that Kinda. when I was a kid. We'd go in the in HEB ever since I was a little kid. And she, she used to tell me that all of the donuts I can eat in there are free. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, no, every time we come here, you can eat donuts and just walk around eating donuts. <laughs> So that's what I would do, and yeah, we, we do that to this day. We go, we go in there yeah. every, once a week. Wow, we, and we get it, sushi man. plates. We go in there. Like, shout out H-E-B. Wow, shout out H E B. Shout out H E B. Yeah, ended up with sushi. <laughs> o- OG, OG H E B. Man, hope they're not watching. 
If they are, sponsor they are. us. Yeah. Sponsor, sponsor us. Sponsor you know, you know us. Find us. You know what are they going to do? Sushi. You, know, you know the funny thing about <laughs> it was I, I actually put up a post on Facebook and tagged HEB about the candle, and they actually wrote me back. No shit. HEB. I don't know if it was corporate or whatever. No uh-huh. shit. Saying, you know, oh, thank you for for advertising our candle or whatever, that, you know. Yeah, it wasn't hey, like they're going to give me any. Shout no, out HEB <laughs> butter tortilla. I wear a size 19 and 20K <laughs> custom. Um, there you go. There you go. Awesome. You, you talk about symbols? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wear a 58 Les Paul. Yeah. yeah. Hook I, wear, me up. I wear a size 58 Les Paul shop. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting a new HEB up here, speaking of. So really? we're making a super one up here pretty, pretty nice, soon. Nice, man. Like a monster. They're starting one. to get crazy. They're starting to get a little bit wild. No, with well, there's a, there's a, there's one they're building. It's probably over in your area, I think. It already opened. It's like two floors or something. It's got an escalator what? and shit in it. You hear about that what? one? Like, like a Whole Foods? It. Fuck no, baby. Have you seen that whole? <laughs> I haven't heard of that shit Have you seen yet. that Whole Foods in Houston? Yeah, but it's an it's HEB. Like it's, I think it's, I'm not going to say it's in BKs, but it's in... Probably Lakeway or something like that. I don't know. It's around that area. But I don't I'm think they're telling is, you lies because there's no, one they, in B Caves and there's one in Lakeway, and they're <coughs> both. I know. I you see you over here walking. Yeah, yeah. they're both <laughs> single both. story. Well, this one's just, it, it showed. There's an escalator that goes up, and it's got two it's floors got on it. You're telling me that this yes H E B has a mezzanine. Yes, a mezzanine. A, mezzanin? a food a mezzanin? court. It's got a food court and everything in it. I'm not yeah. even choking, man. Out of town, Bobby Sharon. Are you serious? I'm, I'm serious. serious. I'm gonna get serious. so much Don't free you food. Be lying to me, Bobby. Sharon. I want to go there. I'm seriously. not lying. I'm <laughs> sounds, so like, have a, sounds like a mall. Do you know if they're gonna have like a bar, like <laughs> or a buffet, like in Whole Foods? How they have like the beer? I don't think that. I don't know. I just saw no. it. On, I saw it on the news in the morning. They were they were out there when they better do the that. day it opened up. I'll be living. There. <clears throat> I'll be living there. Do they have a buffet? They might. You mm. have to go check it out. I got to find out where it's at. Cafe. I got a cafe. Yeah. But just like little MJ in the Jackson 5, <coughs> I'll be there. Oh, boy. You got to bring Michael Jackson. Be there. We love. <coughs> I'm sorry, guy. man. My fucking, my, uh, my allergies are kicking my ass today. That so. was his actual claim to fame. What's that? Um, Neverland Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> his... <laughs> I wouldn't say that, but. Uh... Uh, yeah, that was, his big, that was his big thing. Yeah, that's when. Uh, yeah. That's, uh-huh. when, that's when he had his stardom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where it all no, started. it was it, it was he it was because of his stardom that he bought that place. It was definitely was yeah. Jackson. <laughs> but it was yes. that it was that place that took his stardom away. Little did you know. Little did you know. <laughs> Poor Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh man. I don't know, man. I love me some. What MJ, a guy. Dude. He's one of our. He's one of America's favorite pedophiles. Oh God, totally. <laughs> hey. All I gotta say. <laughs> all I wanna say on that is, you know, the guy was proven innocent. I'm not gonna sit there and and you know Ray was there. <laughs> I knew you looked familiar. <laughs> that he was one of the Ray's babies claim in the trial. fame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, like I said, the dude is acquitted, and you know it, it is what it is, and you know, uh, fuck, who knows? You know, only only he knows, and the kids know. You know, and some of the kids are talking. Oh, they and, fucking know. Yeah, too. you know, and what are you gonna do? I don't know. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Boy. Let us talk about that. Hey, shout out. Yeah, right. <laughs> shout out them kids. All I, know is, all I know is, shout out to them kids. That's messed up. That's so funny. All I know is Bubbles is still alive, though. Remember Bubbles the monkey? Yeah, He's dude. still alive. That's. Are you serious? Yeah. What? Yeah, Bubbles. The, the, remember his chimp back in the 80s? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bubbles. Anyways, yeah. he got too big, and they had to put him in a, He's in a sanctuary now. Whoa. He's like thirty five or forty years old. Yeah, well, he got he, got, he like a, got yoked. He's he's a full blown. He's a chimp. He's a chimp. He has a full Damn. blown big ass chimp, and he's you know he's, old now. He's forty right. years old. Yeah, they showed him. I think I one, didn't even know chimps could get forty years old. Yeah, they they lived about. He might be dead now, but this is probably maybe five years ago. One of the sisters, Michael's sisters, went out there to visit him. Uh-huh. And yeah, he's out in a sanctuary now. So out in California somewhere. Damn, good for him, dude. They get to a point, man. You can't keep a chimp. I mean, those things are strong as hell, dude. The yeah, rip dude. Your dad, yeah, it's like a rip, off, rip your arm off. Yeah. Yeah, a baby dude. chimp, Not nice a baby guys. chimp this big could probably rip my arm. Yeah, completely. You know, off. people like them. So they're, they're, you put little diapers uh, on them and stuff, and they're cute, and they jump up and down, and they you know climb on the wall. They but tried then they in the eighties and nineties, and they put makeup all over them and everything, and put them in TV shows, and they yeah. fucking kill people. Dude, they <laughs> fucking jerk off right in front of you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> all the time, like, they don't care. <laughs> they're like, like on they a just, stick. Uh, they're like standing on a stick. Like, What's up? <laughs> Yeah, but, it's get, insane. but it gets to the, it gets to the point where they get too big and you can't handle them. You know what I mean? And it's yeah. like you got to yeah. Then you got to just put them in a sanctuary. You shouldn't even have those animals, anyways. I want to know no, what the tipping point for somebody is where they're like, "Hey, that monkey, that monkey, monkey put his dick on my kid's face." No, I yeah, no, no, <laughs> there we got to do something it's about time. this. No, they start shaking a the cage. There, there's stories about like Eddie Murphy was talking about going to Michael Jackson's house. 
And uh, he Doctor Doolittle. No, he 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 goes. He went over to Bubbles' cage. He goes, and Michael's like, "Don't go near the cage. Don't go near the cage." <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. like, Arr! he's shaking the cage. He's like, and he's fucking, <laughs> yeah, and, he's, and he said, he "Bubbles, <laughs> Bubbles was getting, he was getting older, you know." And they want it, you know, an elderly well, monkey. Well, not that is that they spice they, they want it, you know, they ornery. get into puberty and stuff. They want a mate, and it, you know, and it's like they're kind of pent up, pent up, Won't and, let me and then they out. write albums. Yeah. So, anyways, I think he. I don't know. Damn. I don't know when the tipping point of him, like you know, sending him over to the sanctuary was, but yeah, he's over there now. So, anyways, man, I love that topic. Anywho. dude, I could do thousands of anything yeah. like that. If I had a million dollars, I'd buy Mike Tyson's tigers and bubbles. <laughs> Damn. Put them in my that... yard. Yeah, tigers. You know what? I, don't I can't know disagree with that. But I don't think. This <laughs> oh, and do. a pirate ship. I want a pirate ship. Pirate ship. We need, pirate we need ship the pirate too. ship. Dude, That's the next thing. Sure. I think. Yeah, I think. Sure. No pirate more house. No more is. band house. Pirate I think ship. Yeah. Pirate ship. Pirate ship. No, so you guys got a band house? Yeah. You guys all live together. All three. Uh, we well, live, we live together. together. He lives about Our house twenty minutes away from us. Okay. Yeah, I'm a, um, but I'm he a, keeps I'm a all creature. Shit. So you guys kind of like rehearse at the band house and everything. Absolutely, yeah, awesome. yeah we're That's pretty. Great. We're always there. Yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah. I love it out there too, man. It's a nice country out there. It's nice beautiful. We can be a lot, as loud as our we neighbors oh, sit on the porch it. and smoke cigarettes and just like, our give us, us thumbs ups every time we're we walk sweet. outside. Yeah. We're blasting nice. like half stacks, bro. I wouldn't and doubt it. Yeah, like we like what you're playing. Yeah, dude, you rock. Full drums, full half stacks. He mowed our lawn like six months ago. What's his name? I don't know. Shout out to you, dude. <laughs> shout, out to, <laughs> shout out to whoever mowed my yard. <laughs> He's oh, he a did. Really cool guy. Yeah, he did. I remember. He did. Yeah, yeah, he was like, he was He's like, really can I use nice. your power washer? I'll mow your yard. Yeah. I was like, wow, that's a good yeah. trade. Never used mm-hmm. our power washer. Yeah. He just, just want to mow your yard. There's, there's, some good, there's some good folks out there. There used to yeah. be a bad cop. That out was there. actually Willie's old studio. Their Ooh. house. The one was, right next to the, my house. That was the original before he moved to Ireland. No, no, no. That's what he was. No me. way. He said that's the layout they made. That did the layout after that. But my grandpa apparently well, framed and built uh, his studio. That Hastings house is the original. Uh, might be. Well, because they, 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 they have the same inside. He was telling me one day they have the same insides. Mm. They they're all the same framing and all the same style. Yo, mm. isn't isn't Arlen Studios? That's Willie Studio, right? Arlen. I couldn't tell you. Mm-hmm. I know it's real big. Yeah. Real nice. Yeah. Of course it is. Yeah. <clears throat> Think Willie's gonna record some shitty studio? Nah. nah. There's a lot of people record over at Arlen all the time. Yeah, when you drive in the parking lot, there's a there's a parking spot that says Willie on it. You mm-hmm. know. Oh, nice. So, what yeah, were you about to sure. hit on? I saw you. I saw you get all big there for a second. Then I was. I was about to talk about that lame ass cop, bro. Dude, talk uh, about that lame ass cop. It. Yo, you got dude. the mic for you got however the mic. long this takes. All right, bro. I'm not really it's political. All right, good. It's a little loose. Yeah, it's all right. Don't worry about it. There it goes. Yeah. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. No, so no, no, I'll no, help. No, I'll no. help. I'll hype Please so, don't. <laughs> so I might though. They nah, live nah, nah, they nah, live nah. in this house. At one point I lived in the, in that house with them for a little bit. And we had pit bikes and dirt bikes and motorcycles. And there's a 60s Volkswagen van in the front yard that's, you know, Matt's and he's got a monster van and badass trucks. And people drive by everywhere. and they're like, Man, what is this place? Right. Well, you get profiled every now and then, you know, because they're like, oh, they're Thank selling you, drugs man. or it's a trap house, whatever. And it's not. It's a nice house. And Surprise. We have good jobs. Yeah, we have good. We're like we're fabric. We're metal fabricators. We write music. We're yeah, we're, you know. And uh, there is this cop, man, you know, that just really didn't like us, dude. And homie like. I can't see why. Dude. Waited at stop signs for us, going to the, yeah, the restaurants and stuff yeah, around no, but, town. Was really? it like Boss Hog or some shit? Yeah, pretty get, much. Dude. He, he gave us a ticket yeah. for, we were like pulling You know what I'm talking about, right, Boss Hog? Oh, absolutely. Deuce oh, yeah. Hazard, yeah. yeah. But yeah. Because we're young, that's what I thought. This dude, this dude was a dick and a half, and I'm glad that he, he switched. He's not with them anymore, but shout out to that dude. Fuck you. Hey, now. Fuck oh, oh. you, guy. Yeah, yeah. Ray Police pulled into the driveway one guy. night. We pulled into the driveway, showing up to the band house. And Ray goes over the line to pull in. This guy's not even close to him. No lights. The guy pulls over on the side of the road, doesn't hit his lights or anything. It's dark. This guy walks up to Ray's door as he's getting out of the car with like his his like drive through food P- and P- shit. Terry's. Yeah, P. <laughs> Terry's and shit. P- Terry's. The dude the dude ended up drawing on me for no reason. Really? He, he yeah, had, he, had, he had a gun in Ray had a gun in his uh like console. In the in his door, door. Right? And he opened his door, and this dude just like ran up on him and saw that. And Didn't have his sad. lights on. No lights, no nothing. In, in my driveway, dark. too. In the driveway. Good Lord. Yeah. Drew on me. At that point. No, we don't just like hate cops. I mean, like, there's some nice cops out there that we like really yeah, do. The, the, the new cops. The new cops. Fucking cop, dope. Sick. You're sick, dude. 
We love but you. That other guy. Yeah, it seems like oh, out cool. there, it, it, it's a different kind of animal. You know what I mean? Because yeah, this a, new cop was like, "Fuck that last guy. That guy was stupid." Yeah, new cop. He's like, cool. "You can do whatever you want. Just don't be like hauling ass. If you want to go out to Paceman Park Road, you can go do 160 miles yeah. an hour on Jesus. your street bikes. Whatever. Good lord. He's yeah, like, this fun. neighborhood, just keep it chill. Like, right. We were like, "Yes, sir. That's super fair, yeah. dude. Love you, dude. You're no best. matter no matter where I go, I just drive. You know." I got the Camaro now, and I drive the speed limit everywhere I go because, man, tickets are expensive these if days. If you stop. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you stop. I, <laughs> what's your, stop? Yeah, if you if stop. If you stop for the cop, then If you you're on four see. wheels, you got to stop. I've learned this a lot. At, yeah, if you're on, if you're on two wheels. wheels. Yeah. If you're on two wheels, you can uh, you're you're on two wheels. Just get the fuck out of there. That's right. I hear you. Just get the fuck out of there. Don't fucking say anything. Goodbye, officer. We don't do this. We don't do this or condone this. That's right. I agree. So you guys writing new tunes now, or what are you? What are you guys up to? <laughs> we have yeah, so many I want to get. We have yeah, so many I want to get songs. in on your band. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, Let's get well, in yeah. on your band. We're yeah. gonna play some music, and we're gonna, you know, we're gonna talk about the band a little bit too, because I know you got some shows coming up and everything too. Absolutely. We so uh, absolutely. According, uh, according to uh, what's happening this weekend, we got a show in San Marcos with Traces Left and a Vegas day trip in San Marcos at the Gray Horse. So that's nice. Really, that, that's gonna be sick. Saturday I heard night, that baby. venue was dope. And then Monday we have that show with you know Bishop Studios at Kick Butt. We uh, downbeat at six. And there's some other great bands going on before then, but yeah, it's awesome, man. I'll and, be over there on Sunday, right? Like but, I said, I'll be in here on Monday, so right. Yeah. I won't the, be able to make it out. Uh, so the new album, man. Uh, we haven't started. We're we're shopping a studio tomorrow. We, we shopped another studio for like the guitar, bass, and vocals, but we're shopping a place to record drums tomorrow uh, with a, a gentleman uh, by the name of Sean. Uh, Raleigh. Raleigh. Motherfucking Raleigh. Sean Mother fucking Raleigh, bro. Fucking Raleigh. He's cool as shit, dude. Um, shout out to Sean. You're badass. Really uh, so we're going to go check out a studio tomorrow, but the next album is coming out. It's going to be 10 songs. Um, it'll be the, the first full length album we record. Nice. And, Good for you. Uh, we're going all in on it. We're very happy. We already have all the tunes. It's, you know, we're just trying to find the right place to do it. Yeah. Just trying to find a home for it. That's right. Beautiful. Yeah, man. So when you get, when are you going to start recording? Man, as soon as possible. Well, within the next. Two to three weeks, I would assume. I would assume within yeah. the month we would start tracking yeah. drums for sure. Your yeah, muffin's falling off again, man. Push that thing in. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. It, it just he, likes me he's so got much. A vacuum. He has I'm a, a very magnetic effect. person. Is it's that what kinda, it is? Well, he yeah. has a vacuum. You're magnetic to foam. He, <laughs> yeah. When I when I talk, I kind of like. There you it's go. a natural. I suck it's things a, in. Yeah. He has a, what he does with his cheeks. He goes. And it's, it just. You know, it's a I weird phenomenon that he does can't ASMR be explained. on the weekends. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's fucking. Yeah, I, I have, I have, I have my own guy. TikTok. So. Do you really? Yeah, for, man, awesome. it's just ASMR stuff. Are you yeah. dancing talking. around and stuff? No, I just talk and 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 people enjoy to hear like the air rushing in through the mic. Wow, into my that's throat. Awesome. And that's yes. just like Whoa. that's just how <laughs> I need to. I, I, need, I need to follow your your little have, TikTok page. <laughs> I have two hundred thousand followers. Do you and, really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's it. based, yeah. So uh, Neverland wow. Ranch was his claim to fame. <coughs> uh, TikTok ASMR was his. 200,000 followers. Yeah. Damn, you like a motivational speaker over here. Yeah. I'm not just You ever player. seen that podcast with Riley Reed where she deep throats the, the whole mic? It's similar to that. Wow. Basically the same <laughs> it's thing. It's very similar to that. It's the same thing. It's just with a mat. Oh, okay. Not a Riley Reed. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> But yeah, as far as uh, as far as the music, yeah, if you can fit, yeah, if you can fit your mouth around that and all the way in, man. No, you, that's you, not how you it belong in, <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you belong in movies. All right, you don't need yeah, to be no, in no. here. For, it's for, more, it's for, more of a it's more the of a band life. It's a visual. You already got yeah, the porn stash going thing. on, so you know. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you. Do. He's our stash baby. He is our stash. He's baby. stash baby. You're inspiring me right now. <laughs> Okay. He's, got a, he's got like, he's got a kid rock look about him, you know. He does. Like, I've heard that actually. That. Uh, who's the country uh, Alan singer? Jackson. Alan Jackson. Alan Jackson. Yeah. Uh, you, you do look like, yeah. You, you look like, like Alan a, Jackson. You look like a fucking yeah. Chattahoochee. I get also like the crazy Alan shit. Jackson. The Chattahoochee? Yeah. Oh, I actually went to a bar called the Chattahoochee. Was nice. it way down yonder? No. I went, <laughs> my my ex girlfriend from was about, it? Tw- my ex girlfriend from about 25 years ago, I went back to where she lived in Brownwood, and there was a bar called the Chattahoochee. That's what there. they call me sometimes also, the Brownwood. <laughs> the Brownwood? Really? <laughs> Hey, I didn't. I didn't come up with uh, that. So. Well, yeah. hey, you know, it's nice to have a nickname. <laughs> <laughs> brown, brown sugar, wood, brown wood. brown sugar. Well, that's even better. <laughs> there you go. But yeah, and I'm gonna stop there. Give me, <laughs> I, got a, I got a, a lengthy, <laughs> yeah, a lengthy length of uh, of a. 
of nicknames. It's more girth than like. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> tuna can. I appreciate that. You heard that yeah. one? Yeah, tuna can. Jesus Christ. I have this band that comes up here. They're called Dongle. And uh, those guys up there. One of the, one oh, of the yeah. guys, he comes in and goes, it's a tuna can. But the way he says it, fuck, every time, he just says it once and I'm on the floor rolling. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's just yeah, the yeah. funniest fucking thing ever. <laughs> tuna can. Man, oh man. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, the songs on the next album, you oh, know, yeah. they're, they're, they're pretty much all the songs that, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Dude, we're so oh, yeah. bad. We're fucking ADD shit. Yeah, we're fucked. It's they're all right, man. That's how, that's how we roll on. That's how we roll on here. They're pretty much all like you. I'm worse than you are, so trust me. You'll hear them live. Okay. We, we play a lot of those. Everything that we play, that's that's on the EP. We have like three songs we play off the EP, and then okay. everything else is is all the new all stuff. new stuff. Yeah, man, and it's 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 killer. I, I I'm gonna say that it's killer. Right, I believe right. in it. We we fucking love playing it. We've yeah, been working dude. on it for a long time. So is it like uh, is is it music like the EP? The same kind of style or well, the EP was definitely like we titled it. It was the prototype to our sound. Uh huh. So Absolutely. we're definitely starting to settle into our sound, and it's it's gotten heavier. It's gotten bigger. It's got more dynamics. Um, the, I think exactly. The, I think the best way to describe it, like dynamically speaking, too, is is like a. I like to say that it's got like a great rep- like you can listen to these riffs like these really great riffs that hook you in and then the choruses are real ethereal and big yeah mm-hmm. and it's like a crescendo of stuff I don't know if I'm if I'm using that term correctly but but you, are. you are you are but it's it's really like that's most of our songs are you know they have that tone and mm-hmm. and, and it's it's like a wave of emotions going through these tunes and I, I don't know it, it they're coming so much right now hey yeah. now. Dude, yes, yeah, so so much. Yeah, so much. So much. They're coming inside. So me much right coming. Now. They're wow. just coming inside just, me right now. It's just a lot of come. Yeah. So much. It's like a bukkake. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, but yeah, man. So my, my fucking retarded band. I know, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> but uh, we just take every everything beautiful that Ray says and we just bass and drum it and just fucking turn it into trash. Just turn it into trash. Oh, you know. The world it. needs a little bit of trash every now and then, so trash, trash, trash. You are the trash, I love trash. trash. I love trash. <laughs> trash I love trash. the trash. <coughs> we love trash. But yeah, man, that's cool. Let's play another song. Yeah, um, like, yeah. Do Queen of the Down. Yeah, yeah we'll do Queen I of think this. we should do Queen of the Down. Yeah. Cool. Anything about this song? Oh man, yeah. Yeah. It's just a cool song, <laughs> man. Cool, that cool make, song. It man. makes sense. Oh, yeah. It's one of those ones. Oh, yeah. You well, know that just makes sense. It's about a. It's about a. It's about a dominatrix. A guy who goes to see this dominatrix and she's really like a witch and she sacrifices the dudes that that go to her. And this wow. guy, I, lo- guy, I love your song, your song topics, man. They're, oh man, it's we have a lot of lore. We have so, we have many, so, much, so much lore. lore. Yeah, but we're so sad and horny all the time. Uh, it sounds like <laughs> it. <laughs> for, we make music for sad, for sad and horny people, but <laughs> sad and horny people. So the yeah. so the. The chorus. <laughs> that's our whole genre, dude. Yeah, that's our genre, man. It's a new genre, sad and horny. There's a that's lot right. of them out there if you didn't know. Hey. A lot. No, there is a lot. But the the, the chorus, <laughs> no, it's not, man. It's just the chorus is the dude finding out like his fate. He's like, oh man, like I know you're about to kill me, but he fucking digs it. And yeah, then wow, trying, he yeah. digs getting killed. Oh yeah. Run this blade. He only digs it once. Veins. He only digs it once, right? That's it. You yeah, only can dig it one time. You can only yeah. have it one time, but it's the best. I, it's, the best. I, it's the best way to go, I guess. So, mm-hmm. right? That's right. Like, it's go. like calligraphy. There, <laughs> okay, yeah. I love you for that, Matt. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> Headphones off. Here it is, Queen of the Damned. <laughs> you guys are killing me. <laughs> it's like calligraphy. <laughs>
is the end. There it is. <laughs> that is the end right there. Not yet. Queen of the Damned. Right there. Right oh, there it is. Yeah, That's yeah. a good one right there. Thanks, man. Thank it's you. a good track. Thanks, brother. We yeah. love that track. Yeah, we like that one a lot. Do you? Yeah. It's fun live, too. Absolutely. Hey, so with this EP, did you guys do physical copies of it, or is this digital? Duh, just it's digital all digital, so it's digital huh? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Eventually, we yeah, want some, some vinyls and stuff. I would like to do some cassettes. Ooh. Yeah, hey, let me no, tell really you. Hey, I'm not it's the mustache really guy talking now. He's like, I want some cassettes. No, me, I, I would just like to hear it. Let me True. tell you, man. People, bands are selling that shit again. Really? Yeah. 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 I know vinyls. Like, I even saw 45, dude. Yeah, vinyls. Are, I tell bands all the time, if you can afford to do vinyl, do it because you'll sell them. Yeah. People yeah. love mm-hmm. vinyl, man. What was uh, Rickshaw's color scheme? Oh, uh, barf and diarrhea. No, no, no. I think it was or <laughs> piss and diarrhea. They so had a color it? scheme called. It, it was poo cum. Oh, poo cum. Oh, oh, was, oh, I forgot poo-cum. about the cum. Who's this? Rickshaw. Rickshaw. Billy's Burger Patrol. We yeah. fucking I, love them. I've been, try, I've been trying to get them up here for a long time, and no one's returning my calls. So I don't know what's up. I, well, well, they're busy as shit. They're, so. Yeah, they're, they yeah. just mm-hmm. won. They just won. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what was a whole year? They've been busy. Austin Metal. Austin Best Metal Band. Uh, best metal. Oh, yeah, was, yes. oh, I, I saw that. You know the weird thing about that? And I mentioned on the past like two or three podcasts is for that was it Austin Music Awards for mm-hmm. this year or whatever. Yeah. I didn't know anybody on it. I knew like maybe like maybe Sorry. three or four people out of everybody. The nominees, the winners, everything. I didn't know anybody. I, I knew them. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, I didn't know any hardly anybody else. Yeah, I mean, yeah, those those are our boys, man. They're yeah, Leo, a lot of Sean, a lot of good dude. cats. Yeah, yeah. Dude, they're, they're, they're killer, man. Yeah, they're they're just they're they're. I would be doing myself as a disservice. I'd be lying to myself for they for, for any it. of us if well, they not only it. that, but if they didn't, they fucking inspired us, dude. They you didn't. Know, yeah, did they not? Well, if you know they those did. guys, yeah. somebody talk to them. Tell them to uh, saw, give me a shout and show me some love because it. Yeah, they're man. about due to get it. Their asses up here and do that. They're cool. They're cool ass dudes, man. They're good musicians for sure. Yep. I'm having everybody one by one. So mm-hmm. <laughs> line up. Pick a date. Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah, man. Yeah, they're cool dudes. They're busy boys, though. Yeah. They're busy oh, boys. They're I'll tell you what, man. I've been so busy yeah. as of the past month. I mean, I got a full schedule. I got like nine episodes this, this month. Usually it's like six, seven, or eight. I'm, I'm going full nine mm-hmm. this month. Oh, shit. What is that? Like two, two a week? Two a week. Yeah. Going for That's the 500. Cool. Yeah. I'll be 500 next Thursday. Damn. Damn. Yeah. 500 Damn. next week. Yeah. So five hundred. The 500th episode. So we had a, what, are, what are y'all okay. gonna do? Something crazy? Nah, we had a we had a big thing planned, and then it was we were, we were supposed to do something in November, and I was gonna like just pile drive all these episodes from like, a certain amount of time, and I, I didn't get there, and it was it slowed down for a little bit, and you know, um, trying to book stuff, and people are canceling and rescheduling, da, 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 da. so the five hundredth doesn't hit till next week, yeah. so we couldn't really schedule it. I'm just gonna have a couple of friends up, and we're just gonna do a you know recap of the past you know six and a half years and, and five hundred episodes, and just and hammered you know nice yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 that's and speaking really of, speaking of <laughs> you should have since you're of, not driving iron wolf distillery iron wolf ranch, ranch and distillery get that ranch. shit right iron get it ranch right ranch and distillery not really a ranch <laughs> well it sort of is a ranch it's a ranch now yeah it's getting up there. it's big it's big now it's biggins correct yourself matt yeah if it's big it's a ranch that's that's, that's yeah, my that's true. You know, that's yeah, my that's, you have a point. That's yeah. my home away from home. And it sounds that's like my a whole lot of there. hat, a whole lot of not a kettle. Hey, but it is on the bottle, so no, they're badass though. Yeah, it's, it's a great place. Love, we, we do, do like love them. this place. We live very close and yeah. great home spot. You need to go check it out. Just go go over there, just do a tasting or something, man. You already tasted that, so you know. Oh, I fucking it tastes really good. Like it. Yeah, it's it tastes deli- good. It's delicious. I'm gonna go it's free. delicious. <laughs> yeah, it's delicious. It's delicious it's and it's free. I don't know if that's making it taste better or if I just Sometimes like it. it does. I think I just it like does. It. it does make it taste better. It was funny. I was talking to my my buddy up that was on this last episode, AJ, and we were talking about. I said, "What's your your band's you know uh, drink of choice?" He goes, well, "Whatever's free." Fuck yeah, <laughs> that's a good answer. I would actually go buy this though. I think. Yeah, it's really good. Can I try some? Absolutely. <clears throat> oh yeah. Pop. Take a shot. I was like, hey, take a shot. Take a shot. You gotta try. You gotta no, try the uh, on, the, the hot scotch. The hot scotch, my jam, boy. It's, it's the butterscotch whiskey. It's Ooh, nummy, Bobby. Yeah. Mm. You can do a shot of butterscotch. I'll do a shot of butterscotch with you. Ah, you know me and liquor. We don't get along very well. We don't get along is, too well. What is butter? When you start getting crazy or what? Butter. Yeah. You, is it butter? Yeah. It's you start butter beating on. Start breaking things and shit. He's got a lot of Native American in him. Oh shit! Really? Yeah. How? 
<laughs> nice. How? <laughs> Don't you hate when people do that shit? How? Like, how? Yeah. It, it, it depends. So like, so, so, so that's the funny thing. So like, so like that. Like, that's funny right now. Yeah. Half that bottle. Um. Um. I'm You're fired. Red, Red man comes man, out. Dude. Red oh, man shit. comes out. That's what we call him. Oh boy! <laughs> I once saw this man break a, a pickleball paddle over some dude's head. He jumped over a fence. This fence was like this tall, and he just He's walked just up to light it beer now. and just went like he didn't even touch well, his hands to it. He just like that's weird, just like jumped over it and then broke athlete a, status. Right like, a, there. like a frog like, man over here. Like yeah, that's like Olympic wild. status. I'll stick, then he bought us all shots. I'll stick to my beer. Didn't yeah. I cry too? Yeah, I'm probably. a fucking handful, dude. I'll stick to beer. I'm you guys are a handful a without it. You know, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. sober, you guys are a handful. We're we're, uh, we're being yeah. tame tonight. We're being very tame. Watch oh, out for man. watch out for your your muffin there. <laughs> I know it keeps it keeps coming at me because I keep touching it. Why well, keep fucking <laughs> with it? Why just talking yeah, to yeah, it? Yeah, stop. Well, it's, it's, his natural, it's his natural. It's natural thing. I feel like I feel like I have to grab it. I know you're over there. You're over stroking a thing like it's a. Like a Man, if you, if you put something close you're to his mouth, doing, he grabs you're still it. Still doing, leave it alone. Because just, I can't. I move around. Just talk. Just talk I move around. It. It's like oh, I'm over here. He just no, keeps fucking, fucking. Yeah, dude, he's fucking. He's, he's all into these. it, man. Yeah, he starts. Yeah. Listen, this is my corner. Okay. That's, your, that's your little corner. <laughs> all right. You like? It. There he goes. He's all excited. Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> Let's let him loose. Wind him up. All let him loose. <laughs> Yeah, he has on on his home setup. He's got some tape and stuff because he does. Well, yeah. he does I usually of... I usually block off my pinky because a lot of people don't like the pinky. Or and the sneaky? <laughs> and I don't I don't yeah. know why. I don't, I don't understand. It's the sound of it. Oh, yeah. It well, sounds different the, than all the thing because of, because of COVID. I have like three sets of these. I got two sets in the closet. Pinkies? So after. No, these things. Oh, I was like, whoa, bro. <laughs> what? He's got pinkies in his closet. Yeah, I was like, no, no. don't. <laughs> no, so because like, like we're on air, man. You know, because of COVID or whatever, you know, uh, I would I would sanitize them and then put them in there and put another one on afterwards. And you know, oh, so everybody right. have a fresh set, you know, that's the way it worked. So. Right. I like that. Is this like, one I'm fresh? definitely going to sanitize yours. So it's like, it's like changing <laughs> out the mics. Is this one fresh? <laughs> it's all fresh. Seeing dudes use the same mics over and over again at a show. Fucking yeah. freaks me out, man. Yeah, people. Bring your own mics. It, I know so many bands now that bring their like their own mics and stuff because they're, absolutely because some of the club mics are just disgusting. This guy eats his mics. So. I do. So yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah, and like it, it, it just it's depends. Like hitting his teeth. On it him, depends so. on the sound. It's like so like most places they don't give me enough vocal in my wedge because I'm blasting overdriven yeah. tones behind me. It's just killing me. So I need a lot of vocal. These are the best vocal mics around. But the problem is, you know the. They need a lot of power and they're just big, you know. Yeah. So on a stage, they just don't. Did these run on Phantom? These you. run on Phantom Power? No, my board has enough juice to run these. So killer. Dude. Ooh, you got yeah. Phantom Power, real power. Mm. Yeah, but I don't think you need Phantom with this. You just need a board with a lot of gain on it. Is so. it a is it a condenser mic? I think it's dynamic, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got, I don't know. Fuck. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, dude. Whatever. I don't know. Yeah, rubber boy. <laughs> what is a dynamic mic? Is it hey, like a it, it, it works and it's you fantastic. Fucking, ooh, I'm Danny a Phantom. <laughs> hey, you know, I know what he's saying. Uh, I, I, know, I know what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> I did his thing to to him. What thing? He does this. I got the other day. We were standing in the driveway. I was like, oh, we got some flowers growing in the yard. Like, that's crazy. And he goes, mm, we got some flowers in the yard. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> like, he goes inside. What's wrong? You don't like flowers? We, no, we get yeah, super right. excited when there are flowers in the yard, but he didn't appreciate it. Yeah, dude. I like flowers. I just like randomly lighting these dudes up. I like, still like flowers, true. huh? I love flowers. Flower hater? Nah. Yeah, nah. he's a flower hater. He's a flower, yeah, hater, a flower yeah. hater for sure. Well, he, he doesn't like purple ones, but he likes yellow ones. Yeah. Shout out to my mom's flower lady. Oh, flower Shout lady. Shout out to his mom. Yeah. She got a forest in her house. She does have so a pretty much we, we learned that you like Iron Wolf Ranch Distillery bourbon. You like the butter tortilla candles, and you hate flowers. Sometimes. Sometimes. Mm. Oh, uh, yeah. Speaking of, let me get a hit of that again. <laughs> Dude, for sure. Like you can't can, we get, can we get a like, pass around? Like, you can't, to you? like yeah. you can't smell that Oof. in the room? Well, did you? Well, I mean, it just becomes so normal. You need like a drink. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? We, want, we want like the... I want to huff it. It's yeah, like you're want, sitting you know, in a real source. You know what the nutty thing is? It's like when I... If I leave the studio at night and I forget to blow it out, I come here the next morning and it's still yeah, it's dude. still going. Oh, the whole room is like it's like a tortilla factory <laughs> in here. <laughs> You're like, where the fuck is my tortilla? <laughs> Bro, he just got the chills. From yeah. The chills from the tortilla. Did you really? Yeah. Can I get a feel? Uh, Can I get a feel? They're gone. <sighs> they're gone. <clears throat> Damn. And it's still drop that there. There you go. I won't. I'll try. It's delicious. I might. I don't know. 
like you're gonna drink the drink the wax out of it. I, I kind of want to, but no, I'm not no, gonna do it. Not I want it. Does it taste? Does it taste like it? No. <laughs> hey, can can you drip drip some on my hand? No, no, I'm, gonna, be, I'm no. gonna eat it. You don't, taste don't it? fucking do you want to taste it. it? Don't be I'm gonna eat shit. it. We'll, no, no, watch we'll, we'll some we'll my hand. I'll eat it. I'll eat the whole thing. We'll eat it. No. Why Calm not? down. Just yeah, <laughs> let's not do that. It does okay. smell nice, so I, I wish I knew what it tasted you're like. Pouring, you'd be pouring candle it'd wax. Be, and it'd shit. be really on, cool man. if I knew what do it, it tasted like. Do but it that's on my fine. chest. That's fine. Oh, hey, mm-hmm. show, show me. Oh, yeah. Speaking of, you know, yeah. uh, do you like the band Mastodon? Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I so fucking you got, you got love. A tortilla? Yeah, I have a, yes. I, yeah, I got a tortilla. Mastodon. Got a tortilla. Like the tortilla. A tortilla tattoo. Yeah. No. So I just got a Mastodon piece on my chest. Really. Yeah, oh. by my tattoo artist. Her name's Whitney at Noble Jackals. She's fucking awesome. Okay. Uh, shout out. Shout outs to Whitney. And she's in a band, Throat Piss. Cool band. Oh, shout out Throat Piss. We love that band. Throat Piss. Yeah, man. She, so, yeah, she's the lead the lead vocalist. And she, yeah, she does fucking she awesome tattoo work. She, she, oh, wow. she did this. She's she did awesome. this. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, Luke, yeah. let me see your boobies. I heard yeah, yeah, check out the, my tits. Of the band. Let me see it. Uh, oh, wow. So, you going to put some color into that? Or is mm. she not done with it yet? Or? Yeah, so this is just this is an outline. Nice, um, but it's You're from the it's from the hunter. Right, right. I know where it's from. Yeah, I'll show the, the dude. We're gonna go camera. see Mastodon. What next month? Mastodon, At the end of next yeah. month. Yeah, dude. I'm so and Gojira, with Gojira, with Gojira, Gojira and Lorna Shore. Fuck yeah, oh, it's gonna dude. Be so I'm good. stoked for Lorna Shore. Yeah, this is. I want to get see, black and white shading, and then we're done. That's cool, man. She did a good job on it. She does fucking great work. Yeah, she's really good. I shop. Yeah, that's that's the thing, man. You know, life is too short for bad tattoos. Right. Bad tattoos and bad haircuts. Yeah, don't gripe about having to make an appointment for your tattoo because that means your tattoo artist is good. Yeah, yeah. And, and pay for it. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Pay your tattoo artist. Tip them, too. And if you pay too much, that means he's famous. And so that means sucks. don't go to him. So how, how long was the session <laughs> for that one? Uh, this one was only about two and a half hours. Really? Well, yeah. it's not too bad. I mean, beginning to end. Granted, I did show up late. And mm-hmm. Of course, <laughs> but uh, no, <clears throat> no way, no way, no you way. You're kidding me, no man. You did that? It was supposed to be a little longer, but okay, well, good. She though. knocks it out fast. Yeah, she's very. Yeah, good I heard of the band because um, <clears throat> who was up here that we we're, were talking about throat piss? Um, <clears throat> oh God, I gotta remember. I'll remember and I'll tell you here when I remember. We just, me and Matt, just saw him live and. They were fucking cool. It was fucking awesome. Yeah, it's a fun. hell of a name, man. Yeah, it's a fucking <laughs> cool name. I, 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 it's so gnarly. I, I feel like when people are like, oh, I feel like that makes me happy. Yeah. You know what I mean? People are like, oh, it's what different. Yeah. Like, what? Like, like, oh, what the fuck? I'm like, yeah, that's how I want you to feel about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it's a very, yeah. offens- not to say offensive name, but yeah. to some well, people. The what? off-putting <laughs> effect is hard to get now because like, we've yeah, had everybody's names are so rock and roll thing for... Yeah. How long? Well, people take yeah. themselves yeah. years. People take themselves way too seriously, dude. Especially That's these true. days, Absolutely. man. We hate being yeah, cool guide. Yeah, it's like whatever, dude. Who gives a shit? Everybody You're gonna forget about shit. it in a couple, Everybody. like a fucking thirty seconds, dude. Oh yeah, people's uh, people's attention spans like thirty seconds anyway. So yeah, yeah. be okay. called throat piss. That's fucking sick. Yeah, and it's ballsy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's pretty ballsy. Love yeah, it. Yeah, I love it. But so what? So what's behind the Mars God thing? That's, 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 I just, that's, I was, that's, that's we, like me and him were sitting in the kitchen one day. We, I had like a list of names. On my like, phone. well, throat piss we, is taken. Yeah, so, I, was like, uh, I was like, throat piss, throat piss. I was like, throat piss. Uh, I can't, how about piss throat? throat piss how about that throat. One? I was like, I can't do that. And I was like, how about Mars God? And Matt was like, we, <gasps> yes. Like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, we had like a Valhalla moment mm-hmm. where we were just like spitballing names and then Mars God just kind of came out of the dust and yeah that was still i mean it, it, it just stuck like it sounds good like there's no there's no real meaning there's no lore really yeah. behind it. there's no we're crazy building we're shit. building lore you're building yeah, lore we're, built, we're building you're gonna make it. up a backstory for it yeah well, that's what exactly that's exactly what we're doing yeah yeah it just sounds um, just sounds good yeah it sounds nice every time i've ever been in a band dude it's oh i suck at naming shit and That's the worst part about having a band is naming it. Dude, the rest of it falls it, into place. But man. also, like everything, everything lies on that, dude. It's like, oh, yeah. who's who's playing? And my buddy Ray Martin used to tell me, he'd be like, dude, I'm gonna go see da da da. Does it sound good? And that just used to fuck with me. And then, yeah, when yeah. I, and then when I, I I got with these guys, it was just so Mars quick. God. I was like, okay, cool. I don't have to fucking worry about it. So, <laughs> well, we you know, had, 
You know, the thing was back in the old days, when, you know, in the, in the 80s, 90s, and part of the 2000s was, you know, when you heard a band name, you knew what kind of music it was. These days, exactly. you don't know what the hell kind of band you're you're, yeah. you're, you're jumping into. You know what I mean? Right, yeah, yeah. Because the names oh. are so off the wall, you know? Speaking of which, dude. What happened? Oh, yeah. I totally forgot. We brought you a little morsel. We brought, we brought you a care package, package, dude. You brought me who? Yeah, we brought you a present. There's a person. You brought here. me a present. What you're seeing is yeah. weird. Is there pinkies. a dwarf? Is there there's, a dwarf yeah. in there? What you're pinkies. seeing is not real. So, so we got we got some pinkies some, in here. Some Mars God merch. Oh, for awesome, man! What's that? What's that shirt? I am a large. Last time I checked. Okay, cool. I brought I brought beautiful. I brought a bunch of sizes. Oh, I brought two sizes. I'd be lying if I said a bunch. Uh, Give them both. You, you're gonna be on the uh, embedded on the refrigerator over here. Sick. Oh, here's so another, <laughs> another Mars here. Here you go, dude. Is that the large? Yeah. Right on. Cool. Oh, cool, man. Yeah, Thank you so much, man. Watch the beers. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, you're fine. You're empty. <laughs> Better be. There it is. Oh, that's a cool show, Tray man. from us for free. Put it on. <laughs> put, put it on right now. Well, give me. Give me your Venmo, and I'll send you some money. Fuck that. Put it on right now. <laughs> no, it's free. It's for you. Thank you, man. Appreciate yeah, it. Absolutely. But you have to put it on right now. I'm gonna. I'm gonna wear. <laughs> I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna wear this on Sunday. Right oh, on, again. man. Awesome. Hey, recommend. Right I recommend now. turning that little. Fucking thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking you, know, you know what's great now? The, the new shirts that, that people are buying don't have the tag. They have like that like little thing on. imprinted on the back. Yeah. Okay. Love that. Or like this one just has nothing. So yeah, I prefer yeah. that over the text. Yeah. Thank Amazon you so special. much. It's awesome. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's from all yeah. of us, man. Cool. Appreciate it. Absolutely. I'll put you. I'm oh, gonna yeah. put the sticker on the refrigerator door. This refrigerator is, is, is on its last we, legs. We, we made the refrigerator, man. And so yes. what's gonna happen is we made it on when, his camera oh. roll and the refrigerator. When, when the refrigerator dies, when the refrigerator dies, I'm taking the door. I'm gonna hang it on the wall. Fuck yeah, that's, that's awesome. so there's like, cool. Yeah, I if, love you look that. At, if you look at the refrigerator, there's, there's like ungodly amounts of stickers on it from bands over the years that have come up here, and I just take them, put them on the on the. On the can door. we like shoot it or something before it goes in the wall so it's got some? Yeah, can right, we if you want to, I don't know. You tight. Sure. Sick. We'll take it out to, the, it. take it to the gun range over your place out in the middle of nowhere and start shooting at it. Fuck okay. yeah. 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 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do we yes, actually, we actually haven't like shot in a long time. It's yeah, been a while. I actually need to sight in my AR. Oh, yeah. So the we need to do that mil? very soon. Yeah. I need to sight my yeah. AR too. Yeah. You go to Reds or whatever. Shout out Reds. You guys have any of the guns? Oh, yeah. We okay. have all oh, the guns. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not with us on person right now. Okay, yeah. But we do have the guns. Well, I mean, we it must responsibly. Be, it must be, must be yeah. fun out there because like, you're in the middle of nowhere. You could blow those things off. Oh, yeah. Any time of day or night, have no, don't have any kind of problem. Yeah, we're, not, it's it's more of like not really out, not with our, our neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, no. not not really? out there. I yeah, mean, it no. used when I was a kid. I mean, yes, out there, um, but not really anymore. Even still, where yeah. you grew up, we, we're which is right next to us, you can still shoot. It's still legal to hunt and stuff over there. Yeah, yeah. but still, kind of. It's, you can't be out there dumping mags and stuff. Yeah. I would yeah. think there's a lot of wildlife out there. I haven't really seen anything, mm -hmm. but you know, I'm sure there's a ton of shit out there's there. A ton. And we all we all hunt, dude. Too, there's so. axis deer out there. You know what axis deer is? Mm -mm. It's one of the most beautiful, majestic spotted deer you've ever from seen Japan. in your fucking life. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, yeah. It's a Japanese spotted deer. That's beautiful. How did it get over here from Japan? Ships. Japanese. A long time ago. People. They sailed their own boats. Yeah. They, what the deer yeah, did? They, they built did. their yeah. own wow. boats. The deer hooves. sailed their own boats to get over here. Mm -hmm. oh, wow, good for them. They're actually yeah. they're, they're overpopulated in Hawaii. Yeah. Really? Yeah, a lot of They'll people pay go there to kill them. It's almost like the the what do you call it the, the Atlantic the, Ice Bridge the boars what do they call those things the the, the wild pigs what do they call the, uh, the oh, pieces of shit it's big old boars baby the big yeah, old boars big they old shoot boars. Like, you people with helicopters shooting at them and shit uh -huh. oh yeah, yeah I we have do a, that shit I have, a, I have, like the I have worst, one of the worst problems two buddies that, that 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 do that they you know they wild hogs mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. hogs well, they, they yes, trap sir. they trap animals and stuff we had like one that. up here um a, man it was got to be a couple years ago now I was outside you know working in my yard or something some guy in this this hog rescue truck rolled up it's like i'm in a residential neighborhood you know what i mean yeah and um he pulls he pulls over goes hey you got a minute i'm like yeah he goes you seen any any hogs in this neighborhood i'm like what he goes it's a baby one it's about 300 pounds <laughs> and uh he goes uh, it was spotted in this neighborhood i said yeah. a hog up here and oh, he gave yeah, me his, he gave me his car and he says yeah he goes uh, he goes if you if you see it call me don't go near it yeah, because they get ugly. You know, they yeah. get, a lot they, of people get like kind of worried thing, when, you, when you talk <laughs> about when you talk about killing pigs and stuff. They kind of worry about you know shooting pigs and yeah. But yeah. a lot of people don't get that like during when fawns drop, they yeah. eat like eighty percent of the fawns that drop. Like mm -hmm. they'll just they're they're cannibalistic. Oh they'll, yeah, yeah. They'll eat meat. They eat like all chickens. the deer. They'll eat chickens. They'll tear up. Yeah. 
all kinds of wildlife, and they're invasive too. And so if, when we talk about killing pigs and stuff, I don't want people to, oh, no, 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 to no, no, trip no. about. No, no, because no, because they, they actually people they I think pig is the only a wild pig is like the only thing you don't need a license to kill, right, or hunt. That's one correct, of them. Correct. There's, there's yeah, a few it's, things, it's considered like, a varmint. Like Axis, you don't have to have a tag because it's Axis. invasive. If yeah. it's invasive, you don't have to. Yeah. Have a. Uh, yeah, but I never saw that the Japanese deer. I never saw one. So. Man, they're so cool, dude. They're gorgeous. They're so cool. And they're hunting those out there. Oh, they, yeah, they they're great. Their meat's kind of like purplish. Really? Yeah, it's beautiful. Wow. Yeah, super lean. There's like almost no fat mm -hmm. in Axis. Wow. Yeah, I've had deer a couple of times. I actually got a couple of deer steaks in the in the the freezer that somebody from work they went hunting and they they bagged two deer. He gave me a couple of steaks. It's like a fucking perfect marble. There's like no oh, fat yeah. on it. You know. Oh, I mean? Yeah. We yeah. both bow hunt, and that's that's really the, that's our favorite. Just there's nothing better than some something that you killed and you can serve to your friends and stuff and like you know where some, it's some coming about from, like where you know? it came See, from. No, maybe you know, it's it got a, processed. And, just make some TikTok videos when you're out hunting, man. <laughs> Right. You, uh, you can't. You gotta be quiet. You gotta, you gotta, gotta shut the fuck up. So yeah. <laughs> you gotta shut the fuck up when you're hunting. <laughs> yeah. You gotta shut the fuck up. Just like my dad yeah, always said. Yeah, you like you gotta shut the, up shut the fuck up when you're hunting. Shut the fuck up when you're hunting. We bow hunt too, so we're like close quarters to animals too. Yeah. If you're gun hunting, you can sit there and smoke a cigar and crack beers all day. Seven, and yeah, yeah. Deer blind, Seventy, eighty yards, wearing a white t-shirt and blue jeans, and right, right. shoot out of a deer blind. But if you're bow hunting, you have to be kind of on spot. Oh yeah, you have to be real quiet too. Yeah, yeah, dude. No, no time. Which is like talk. it's so much more satisfying because I feel like I actually have to work for my food, and I'm not just like oh, yeah, sitting yeah. there just like oh yeah, and then shoot something <laughs> and it's dead. And I'm like, oh cool. Dude. It's like a, it's an art right there, dude. It Absolutely. is because it it's not easy to do. It is insane. People think it's like oh you fucking pull bow, but you know it's not like that at all. It's insane. And the bows that we're running, dude, they're just insanely accurate. And like, really, yeah, oh my god, it's yeah. also a financial disease. It is. I spent like three k <laughs> when I was done on my bow. Yeah, really. Oh yeah. Shout wow. out Matthew, sponsor us. Yeah, Matthew's bows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely no, man. It's I love it. I I wasn't into it at all, and I shot his bow, and I was like, "Oh, dude, that's what's up." <laughs> yeah, straight up. I was like, "Yeah, yeah." You got this is a lot of practice that's involved in that. So I would much. think it's so to go much. to a range for a few years in order to get that skill down. Yeah, I grew up with my my uncle who's actually all they both traditional suck. Really? Well, you know. <laughs> hey, hey, y'all can't be winners. Yeah, right? we're not. We haven't been silly for a while. Thank you for pulling us out. I was saying, I gotta pull it out sometimes. Yeah, we weren't being. Yeah, the silly I, I ain't ate a goddamn deer. That y'all are fucking bow down. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm waiting. Down. I'm waiting for I've it. Definitely eating it like a few I, of I live with you, and I love you because <laughs> you're my singer. <laughs> But I haven't seen a fucking piece of meat, dude. Your fucking dude, your mic is fucking doing circles. Yeah, he's uh, he's Hell twisting yeah. all over the place. Fucking jerking that thing off. <laughs> That's just my style, baby. Is it, is it a, he, <laughs> it's just what I do. I'm gonna get a message. <laughs> what I, hey, I'm gonna get a he's message tomorrow. Goes, I can't hear hey, myself you know on what? the podcast because you weren't talking into it. That's why. You... <laughs> no, I don't care. Just hand no, noises, okay. just pinky noises. No, I get, right. I get people that come up and they're like, "Yeah, well, you know, I'm over here, you know." It's like I took man, get up on that mic. I always tell people, get up on that mic, right? That way we can hear you. It's all good though. It's not good no. in the hood. <laughs> it's how these things work, you know. What bands have you been listening to? I listen to everything, dude. I mean, what's your top five? My top five right bands. Ooh, yeah, I can't put you on the spot like know, that. But you know. can put us on. The I'm, spot a, I'm like a metal guy, you know. In course, you know, I'm going to go with the old school shit. I love Pantera. Yes, nice. Awesome. Uh, love awesome. Lamb of God. Nice. Um, okay. Um, what have you been listening to? Like, what's your five? You get in the truck by yourself. Like, eat, Yes, and you're explain. like you're head you're heading somewhere. You get in the truck by yourself. Uh -huh. What do you put on? He's all like, I drive a sedan. <laughs> well, <laughs> right, you're, right. you're driving. You're driving a sedan. I'm driving yeah, a you're sedan. Driving what, Kia do you, what do you drive? Perry Camaro. Camaro. I, I got a new Camaro. Yeah. Yeah. Do cool. give him the credit where credit's due. So, He's got a Camaro. It's a four banger though. <laughs> oh, you got the you're four driving banger. Driving a four banger Camaro. Let me tell you something, Camaro. man. It's a four, Eco it's, Boost. No, it, no, <laughs> that's, that's no, that's a Mustang bullshit. That's some yeah, fuck shit. that shit. No, it's a, I hate five of Yeah, it's a four banger with two point turbo in it, man. I'll tell you what, it goes. What's your What's home. your go to? My go to? It just matters what kind it's of mood. It matters it, what kind of mood right, I'm in. Right, I'm I listen to a, a lot of local bands. Can I give too, you a so. mood? A, a mood? Yeah, can we give you a mood well, and you tell us? Well, well fuck it, fucking let him answer the question. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, guys, shut the fuck up. Go ahead. Give me a mood, and I'll 
Tell you what. So you're you're if, really excited to go to the place you're about to go to. You're gonna go to a excited. beautiful day. You're gonna go to a show. It's sunny outside. Fucking it's gotta be nice. a part. So it's gotta be a party, a party band kind of a thing. You're going to a party. It's I got you know. I, here's, you're happy. You're in a here, good mood. Here's here's my thing. I got a lot of guilty pleasures, and I tell you, you're gonna probably laugh when Dude, I tell me you too. And me we too. have we hey, have all of them. I have the We're very broad. I love. Those, those, I, tr- I, 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 tr- I trump you all. I trump you all. You heard what I was listening to today. I trump you all. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does listen some gay shit. I got. <laughs> I got, when I was out, I, I got I got out of uh, when I went to Iron Wolf. I actually put on a Limp Biscuit album. Was it just one weekend. of those days? I think that was on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We just having one of those days, and I, I was I just cranked the shit out of it. And it's a beautiful drive up there, dude. You know, I'll tell you this, dude. Limp Biscuit. Well, you know, me, the only me, thing I don't me, like about Limp Biscuit. Me being no, yeah, I, I don't hate Limp well, Bizkit. Hold on, hold on. No, no. That's all I'm getting at. I know, I don't, I, no, I, don't I, I don't hate them either. But I don't like some of like their like their lyricism, like Fred Durst stuff. I love their guitar work. Holy yeah. shit! It's just everything else. Dude. Yeah, it all sucks. <laughs> no, dude. Like 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 the lim the limerick of like of how like Fred Durst does the stuff. I'm not really into it. But yeah. some of it's like catchy. But dude, yeah. they're like their band. That band's fucking. Height, dude, it's sick. There's yeah. no way you drove out there and just listened to Limp Bizkit. No, no I, I put no, that on. Next? Um, next? I actually kind of went through the new Metallica record, like the tracks that they had. Cool, off cool. the new one. Um, Pantera, listen up. I think I actually listened to uh, Cowboys from Hell Fuck on yeah. the way back. <clears throat> um, yeah. a lot of local bands. I mean, people give me so much stuff that I'm, you know, my, yeah. my thing with that is, is even if it's not my thing. Out of respect, I will listen to it at least once. You know, course, all the way course. through. You yeah, know, you're you're yeah, good. You're course. good for Thank that. Because like I know a lot. Yeah, I yeah. know a lot of people. You give them dissing, like you know, yeah. take them and throw them not right, throw them absolutely. away, but they never listen to them or whatever like that. But I always, no matter what I get, I listen to it at least once. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of bands that give me stuff that and I'm like, man, this is a great fucking band. Can I can I ask you a question? I'm What's gonna, that? I'm gonna put you on the spot. Right, no, what was the, what was the first thing you thought of when you heard? Have you listened to or have you like picked a favorite of one of our songs? Um I don't have a favorite, you know, it's, there's a vibe throughout the whole thing. What do you what do you think what are you getting from it is my question. I see when I saw you guys live, I just loved this. I just loved the music. I wasn't like getting a certain thing out of it. I just thought it was the the, the songs were really good, real, you, you know, put, well test. well put together, you know. You good did hooks. See us live though, right? Thanks, man. To me, you know, to me a good song it's all about groove and it's all about a hook. Right, absolutely. You know what I mean? No, I agree. Because if you yeah. if you walk yeah. out of a place and you can't remember a song, you can't remember humming a song or like a a chorus that you guys have. Man, it's, songs aren't good. True. You know, you gotta yeah. have that one song that fucking sticks with you. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. True. yeah. Absolutely. And there's a lot of bands that have a lot of great songs out there. Yeah, man. It's kind of a especially sh- in Austin, shame. man. Dude, the dude, the fucking market is so saturated with dudes that like don't take it that seriously, and dudes that take it really seriously. Mm-hmm. And the fucking mm-hmm. ebb and flow is like the circle of life, and that is not. Fair and the music right. industry isn't fucking fair, but fuck, it sucks, man. Because right. I, I know some it's dudes, like that with a lot of stuff, though. Yeah, yeah. that's there's true. not enough balance in a lot of it. Yeah, you just gotta, you know, my thing is you gotta do what you do. You know, don't try to please anybody. Don't try to like, oh, I'm gonna write this song for this guy because this guy's gonna like it. You write for yourself, man. Like this is podcast. You know what? I'm not trying to please anybody but myself. I'm just trying to have a good time up here and just do it. You better fucking you better you let yourself you better, on fire. You better what are you ask doing? them before you do that. What are you doing? <laughs> I can't hit a vape. Yeah, sure. Is that allowed? Is there any weed in it? Is there? No, there's no drugs. No okay, least. you can. All right. No drugs that are illegal. Oh shit. Nicotine being. Illegal. Nicotine, you got it. So You're fine. It's just. Yeah. I'm a smoke-free environment. <laughs> That's fair. I understand. No, that. no, I'm not. Yeah, I just fuck. I hate cigarettes. Those. I almost. I almost yeah. brought you a joint. Really? I almost. I can't do that though. Of CBD. Okay, of CBD. Why? CBD joints. No. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of off the weed train. So Delta Eight joints, right on for a long. Well, no, it's like you know my my job. You know I, what I do. You know it's like drug testing and stuff. Plus, I'm not good on weed anymore. And the reason why is because uh, it's scary. It's, it's scary strong now, <laughs> dude. It is scary. Back when I was a kid, you buy it makes me hear my thoughts. You buy hear something, you hit it. You know. <laughs> You smoke a half a joint, and like you're high for a couple hours, man. These days, you fucking take one toke off something, man. You're high for a week. And you become a two by four, and, and you're I'm just like, dude, I, I, got <laughs> shit, I got shit to do tomorrow. You know, like, I don't want to be a two by four for four hours. I got shit. 
you know, my thing is I have, I have, a, gla- I have a couple glasses of wine. I'm good. I have a, you know, some Iron Wolf and kick back. I'm good. I don't need all Iron that Wolf. other shit. Thank you, buddy. Right. You know what I mean? I understand. It smells like strawberries in here. Yeah, it strawberry? strawberries. It's like the best strawberries and, and buttered tortillas. Mm. That's, yeah, that's a bad combo, but it's a good combo. I guess. I'll strawberry. Take I'll take compared to what? Strawberry buttered right. tortillas. Right. Yeah. Compared to cigarette. Yeah, I'll take that shit. Yeah. Abalule. Abalule. <coughs> Abalule. Let's play another tune. Yeah, man. Yeah. What do you guys yeah. think? Skin? Yeah, let's do let's do skin. You want to do skin? Anything yeah. about anything yeah. about skin? It's special. Yes. So there's a story behind that one too. Uh, Let me guess. <laughs> Please take it. You might be right. There, there was a train wreck and a whole family died. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually no, it was a school bus full of children that went over a cliff. <laughs> yeah, right. And that, one dude was picking out the bodies one at a time. <laughs> it's yeah, about exactly. a. It's about. We should have actually written about that. It's yeah. about a serial. Hey, killer. your muffin's coming off again. <laughs> it likes me. It likes me for some reason. Dude, oh my god! What are you doing? I'm gonna glue that shit down. Dude, I'm just like moving. He's it. I know. It. I can it tell, man. Poor, the poor Mike has been fondled and, and molested it. over there for the past half an hour and a half. Listen, this this <laughs> Mike loves me. Oh my I can tell. And that's just how it's gonna be. So skin skin is about a. Uh, uh, a serial killer who hasn't been caught yet. See, there you go. I knew something was coming up. Meets, <laughs> he meets a girl that he falls in love with, but he loves her so much he knows that he can't kill her. So he's like caught in between oh, like man, getting away from her oh. and, like, and being you? in love with her. So yeah. if he breaks up with her, then he can kill her. But he can't, man, because he's all, he's fucking Well, no, if he breaks up with her, it means he's not in love with her anymore, and then he goes to kill her. Who the hell knows? Yeah. It's like, like it's like it's it's like a thirkle. it's like being in love. It's like with a thirkle where you girl. if you know that if you like the girl and then you, you if you think you want to kill her and then you don't kill her and then you like her again. Yeah, it just starts all yeah. over. Yeah, uh, exactly. Mr. <clears throat> exactly. Just let you know, Mr. Stephen Bishop is watching. Oh, what up, Stephen? I love you, I love Mr. You Bishop. So much, Mr. Yeah. Said, what's what's up, Mars God? Nice. He's a very I, nice guy. I, like I know. He's a sweetheart. He's got this hell of a show coming up this weekend on uh, Sunday and Monday. That's right. I'll be there on Sunday, but I can't do the Monday. I got to be okay. up here. We'll, be there we'll, have, we'll have you in our thoughts. I got. I got to work mm-hmm. on Monday. So, <laughs> yeah, no, I might shout man. you out with one of our songs. Uh, yeah, I might, you know what? Yeah, I might just watch. What time are you guys playing? Six. Yeah, I could. Yeah, I'll probably watch it on the live stream. So I'm, I'm sure they're gonna be live okay. streaming it. So I'll watch it live stream. And you can shout me up, and I'll be waiting. You might dedicate it's, MSK. It's great to footage. Is it really? Matter of fact, we oh, are. I know, we, I know. We are gonna. We are gonna dedicate MSK to you. All right. Yeah. Nice. We're gonna come inside you. Hey now. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Do I have to bend over for that, or what? How's this work? Oh, well, <laughs> you can do it. You don't right. have to bend over, <laughs> but if one leg do, up. It, okay. As, as my people say, uh, "Como quieres," whatever you want, man. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Probably so like, this. It's cool. So let's play this song, Skin. Here it comes. Hey now. Well, if I get it to work.
Yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it, is, there it was. There it there. shall remain. <laughs> nice. So what do you guys got coming up for shows? I know we talked about it already, but I want to get out there again because it's coming up quick. It's this weekend, right? Yeah, man. So yeah, weekend. like I said, we packed. have uh, we packed. have a show. Tomorrow, right? Uh, Saturday. We have a show, show in me. San Mo. All good, man. We have a show on Saturday uh, in San Mo at the Gray Horse Saloon with Traces Left and Vegas Day Trip. Um, and then we have a show Monday uh, with, at Kickbutt with uh, the Bishop Studios deal. And then we have a show... I believe it's the Friday or the Saturday after that. That's going to be in, that's at like some. St. Patrick's Day. Day. Yeah, it's St. Patrick's Day. Yes, sir. On, uh, that's a Friday, I want to say, right? I think it's like the 17th or the 16th. Yeah, and it's. it's yeah. Uh, Something like that. Yeah, St. It's St. Patty's Day. One uh, of those uh, days. Like it's, it's a like pool, a pool, it's a pool party. party with this band called Kinetics. Okay. Yeah. Kinetics is. Yeah. Great, yeah, they're cool. They're we really like cool, man. They've, they've been inviting us to play some shows. Good with them. people, yeah, we appreciate them. Shout out to Kinetics, y'all are awesome. Nice, uh, Scotty B. Thanks for the connect on that one. <laughs> Check them yes, out sir. if you haven't. Yeah, absolutely. Kinetics. Um, and yeah, I think we have some other dates that are far along, but uh, as far as like some like the three that are coming up, those are it right now. Okay, cool. We're, we're it's like working look. on the record, you're gonna be working on the record here pretty soon. So, yeah, tomorrow man. we're gonna go check out. Some yeah. more studio stuff. So yeah. What is it? Warm Studio we're checking Warm out? Studio, Warm yep. Studio, yes, sir. Yeah, man. That studio is insane. If you want to go look that up, Warm Studio, yeah, dude. wild. Just like the, it's yeah, a brand man. new studio. They just set it up. State of the art. It's all, it all looks like just the dream of any musician to walk in there and play. Have you heard well, of Assembly is, Line Studios? I've heard of them. I don't know anything about it. Yeah. I haven't seen it. My buddy Kevin uh, Gutierrez runs that place. and I know and, that name. Yeah, I don't know where from. It's up. It's over in your area, I think. Uh, I don't know the exact address, but man, he's got a killer. It's like a bed and breakfast thing. So like when, nice. so when the bands come and play, or not, uh, the bands come and they rent, you stay know, for the weekend. They, 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 they stay there. Oh, is said, he is he off of Hamilton Pool Road? He might be, dude. Uh, Ta- Taylor Satch, maybe. I don't know. I have to look up the address. Yeah, I'm. I'm I talked. But to man, he's guy. got. Yeah, his place is. He's a killer producer. He's a, he's the guy that did the um the intro for me. Oh, nice. That's man. him. Nice. Yeah. And yeah, I know that name from somewhere. It rings a bell, but I don't know. Yeah, he's done a lot of a lot of killer stuff over there. Um, yeah. yeah, he's worked with. I mean, John Moyer is over there from from Disturbed all the time, and you know, oh, doing his thing over nice. there. Does he live in Texas? Who? John Moyer? Yeah. He lives in Austin. No shit. All those all the Disturbed guys lived here at one point. Oh, and uh, are they from Texas? They're not from Texas. They just moved. I think John's from like I think San Antonio, oh, okay. and he but he lives in Austin now. Right on. Yeah. So, but the, I think all the all this um, disturbed guys were here at one point, and then they one by one moved away. Nice. There's a lot of people here from metal bands you you're you're familiar with. You just don't know to live here. That's crazy. I think the guy from Five Finger Death Punch lives here too. No shit. The bass player. It's yeah. wild. It's like actors and musicians everywhere, and you just run into people like oh, just yeah. when you're. Downtown Dripping Springs. Mm-hmm. Downtown Dripping Springs is still like just n- middle of nowhere. Yeah, you go down there and you just like see random people walk into the the restaurant you're eating lunch at. And you're like, what the fuck? Like, well, because a lot of the a lot of the you know the the heavy duty you know actors and musicians they don't want to live in town, so they they want to be in Texas, so they live out in uh, man, the outskirts. Was it, man, who the hell was it was going to buy a house out there? Was it Dave Mustaine actually was going to buy a place out there? No and they, they they spotted him and Willie Nelson together or something at some like <coughs> their some trucks. Off. That is odd. No, but they that were so odd. They were together at some like um some not say like some bed and breakfast place or something like that. Just having huh. Jesus Christ, just having uh, lunch or something. I have no idea. So yeah, I'm not sure. That's crazy though. I mean, yeah, I mean, I've, but I think I've, it wasn't Dripping Springs. Okay, yeah, I've ran into a bunch of like actors. Uh, we you, I you built a that. dock. Uh, framed after or modeled after Matthew McConaughey's Bow Dock. Oh, really? On, yeah, on Lake Austin. Nice. And I met him and I freaked him out on, <laughs> on accident. Well, Matthew McConaughey? Yeah. I met him one time like years ago downtown. He's the coolest dude, man. Yeah. He's super nice. I ended up working on part of Sandra Bullock's property one time. I did too. Did you? Weird. Yeah, Joe Rogan lives right over there. Yeah, yeah. right by like, Rogan's West place. Yeah. Area. Yeah, yeah. We used to have a rope swing right by his house. It's the our favorite fucking rope swing, and they cut the goddamn tree down. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, he did? did? No, yeah. just, the, just the city did. So, yes. Oh, the so, city did? You'd have to swim across Lake Austin, and then there was a tree that fell over a cliff, mm-hmm. and me and Ray used to go out there. His dad came with us a couple times, a bunch of friends all the time. We'd roll out there. You'd tie a wakeboard rope to it, and it was just 
we'd sit there and swing off that all day long. Yeah, you get like a 20, 20, 25 foot boost up in the air. Man. It was dude, it's Jesus. Really wild. Yeah, dude, Good you Lord. Lay out backflips. Yeah, Holy you, moly. You could throw like slow sick. double backflips yeah, off of sick, it. Dude. Easy. But then they just, they kept cutting our ropes down and then That's eventually cool. they cut the, the whole tree down. Big ass tree, dude. Huge. Not hurting nobody on nobody's, like, nobody's property. You can't own within 20, what is it, 20 feet of the bank? No, it's like 20 yards of the bank. Really? Is, it's state property. Oh, I didn't know that. And I guess the property owner still didn't like it. So, Sandra Bullock's not there anymore, right? No. I don't, I don't know. So. She I'm sold sure. her place? I don't think so. I worked The last time I worked there was like four years ago. Yeah, it's I, was, been a I was doing some doc stuff and... I was talking to her, uh, the person who handles all of her shit, and she was still like had that as like a, a vacation home. She lets me call her Sandy. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Sam. Miss Sandy. What's up, hey, Miss Sandy? Sandy. Miss Sandy. Sandy. She's like, who are you again? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, and why are you calling me Sandy? I don't know who you are. I'm just doing your gutters, girl. Doing your gutters, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Hook up a brother. <laughs> well, thank you so much for... First off, driving all this way to do this, man, because hey, I know, I I know it's world. a haul because I've been out there a million times. I go out to Iron Wolf all the time, and and I know the drive is like at least an hour and 15. So Yeah, yeah we should all meet up. Yeah, hour 13. We should all meet up at Iron Wolf. We should, soon. man. Next time, I, next time I'm out there, I'll let you guys you know. You can keep it. You're good. Y'all yeah, good? We, we should all, uh, <laughs> let's, let's all do that. We're beautiful. <laughs> we're <Right>. beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't know. No, thank you, man. We yeah, we no problem. We appreciate man. the hell out of it. We'll man. have to do it again sometime. Seriously, it'll be fun. Absolutely. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Maybe uh, I don't know if you do like acoustic sets or whatever. Bring a cajon acoustic. Know yeah, we, we, we'd love to do it. Building. I'm. I'm going to be building another studio in the house here pretty soon, so that's going to be a little larger. Nice. I'm yeah, going to build for the TV show. So nice. Nice. Very cool. It's yeah, very we'd, cool. we'd we'd love to play a little acoustic set. Yeah, it'll be, be fun. What's up? Okay. You all right? I said for the old television. For the old for the old television, yeah, the, the 29.97. Yeah, yeah, there yes, you sir. go. Fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so people I, I told uh some people about it. And what what is it on? What's the tel- like the, the It's on Austin It's Austin Music Television. It's on the Austin Community um cable access. But it's on um AT Universe, you is it ATT Universe? Okay, yeah. Um okay. Spectrum um Grande and then it's on eight. It, it, you can get the app, the awesome music app on a, Apple TV, Roku. Is it like a channel? On yeah, the, what, it's a it's what, an what, Austin what, Access did, channel. Oh, okay. So they don't do like 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 these like Channel Four, or like Channel Five. No, it's I think it's Channel Ten or Channel Sixteen on all that stuff. Okay, nice. cool. Yeah, Sick. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Where can we find it otherwise? Um, like social media platforms. You just got to go to the website. If you go on the website okay. or look up, look up Austin Music Television, and it'll pop up. They got a they got a, you know Spotify, not a Spotify page, but a um, an Instagram page, nice. you know Facebook and all that kind of shit. It has all the information. I watched it the other night for the first episode. Mm-hmm. Um, I watched it on Apple TV. You know, that's shit killer, dude. So it was yeah, you know, it was it was great. Yeah, that's sick. So anyways, uh, I record. It's funny because I record them like two weeks in advance. Uh-huh. So like. What do you call it? The one I recorded uh, on Monday will be the following Saturday. So, like, this week will be an episode I recorded. This Saturday will be an episode I recorded, like, two weeks ago. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. So, I, have to, I record them on Monday, right. submit them on Saturday, and then you play it the following Saturday. Yeah, absolutely. Nice, but man. my thing is I wanted to stream one live a week. So, I said I record the one on Monday, and then the one on Thursday, it goes out streaming, you know, streaming live. Mm-hmm. Right. So. Yeah. Sick, and you're Hell streaming yeah, live, live. Live. live, right on. Well, thank you so much, man. No problem. Yeah, we, thanks we really for the appreciate swag. Appreciate it, man. Absolutely, absolutely, man. And with that, I end the podcast the same way every single time, the same damn way. So here it is, people. Please try to do the right thing, as Lord knows most of you don't. And with that, we are out of here. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. We we'll see you on the flip side. Say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Thank you. I love you. Peace out. One more. Thank you. One more little commercial from Iron Wolf Ranch and Distillery. All right. God bless people. Peace.